Oh, Study it. Completely different. Absolutely not the same shirt. Okay. other people that's that's not acceptable okay uh, don't tell me about this all right am i okay yeah fine hello 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 happy <laughs> happy canada day gumber uh, it's my favorite day of the year where is skip Jen Lee when you need him What's up, Boost? How's it going? Brother Lynch, hello. Gray, hello. Dagishta, Zarin. This is obviously not me. Hello, Kagranak. I'm very excited about this. I teased this in Discord last night. I purchased this. Coca-Cola with coffee. And caramel. I can't wait. Taste test Thursdays. I I bought this like last week though. Was it seven day? No, it wasn't. Came the same day. Fucker. Start tipping check bath top stream start. Hashtag adding no, I'm definitely not not had hashtag adding this one. It's supposed to be an energy. I don't I have no idea. It says with coffee. Um, not a significant source of sap, fats, trans fat, cholesterol, fiber, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potas. Hey, Dim, how are you doing? What did you think of those two images in Discord? Yeah, stop posting that. Jesus Christ. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with... I already have my donkey, so it won't spoil it. Okay, we're okay. Let's turn this down. Uh, Darkroom, thank you for the 55 months. Gonna finish the whole thing, I guess. We'll see. There's a hint of coffee. I can't imagine what this could possibly be like or why it's a thing. Darkroom, thank you for the 55 months. Bloodiest Corpse, thank you for the 67 months. Uh, stay tuned for the bathtub. It's coming soon. Diet Pepsi and instant coffee. 
Would you ever think to mix that though? I don't think so. It's only 70 calories. Serving size of one can. I guess that's the rule. Hello, how is everything? We have to eat a serving. You think it's limited edition? I, I think it's going to be limited edition. Good morning, hello Coolidge. Cat the creepy, did I get them all? I don't think I got them all. Oh my God. Shoot. Oh my God, it's shoot. Thank you for 54 months. Everything is perfect. Um, Captain Creepy, thank you for 35 months. Watching the latest Steve vid. Is this a Kenji stream? Reverend Phil, thank you for the 77 months. Cagrenock, thank you for the 40 months. Let's go, thank you for the 25 months. Does we know you're drinking this on stream? Yes. This is like a test run, all right? This is going to be a test run. If I find weird things and try them on stream, see if it's enjoyable. What does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. There's, there's no, no underlying... There's no other... I have no underlying connotations, okay? This fuck up bitch is still on the soundboard. Yep, I got... Um, That's my jam. Got That's all my that. jam. Top tier content. Oh, I got this new. This, I got a new one. Stay later, bitch. I'll give one dimmer if anyone knows who that is. No MREs, I swear to God, I will find you. Well, yeah, don't send them. I have a hundred. Please. Uh, it's it's Coca Cola with coffee with caramel. Okay. Let's get a nice whiff of it. I'm getting a hint of Coca Cola on the first whiff. A hint of coffee on the That's same whiff. Jam. They do make a vanilla one. I figured caramel was weirder. Need a wine glass for this? Should I not drink it out of the can? Do we have a. Maybe we should see what color it is. Maybe. You know, see, we're going to work out all the kinks here. A glass would be appropriate. Um, uh, Wee Moon, could you get us a glass, please? I'm gonna milk this. She's gone already. Need to see the color for sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, hello? I'm trying to hear if I, if I hear movement. Sugar-free salted caramel syrup. I don't know. Is she doing it? I don't know if she's doing it. Hmm? No, I have to drink no. this whole thing. I need a full There's size no glass. glass. This is what she brings me. This isn't even a full size shot glass, I don't think. Have you ever seen anything so small? This is what she brings me. We have to have a glance. It, it's like one finger. This. Honey! Then she just walks away and expects me to live my life. Have your blue moon cup with the price tag on it. <laughs> Fine. We got it at the thrift shop for $1.49. <laughs> Why, Jay? Thank you. Um, hold on. Is it clean? Did you clean this? These subscriptions have cost me $165. Yeah. Thank you for the 33 months. I wanted a blue moon glass, and yes, it is. Okay. All right, let's just, uh, I'm going to pour it. Let's pour it on myself. Let me get a nice little head on it. Professional. I didn't wash the tag off, okay? Yeah, well, looks just like Coca-Cola. 
Yeah, it's brown. Who, who would have guessed this? That's crazy. All right, so. Yeah, it does look. It looks like a, it looks like a Guinness. You drinking Guinness tonight? It smells like, it smells more like Coke than anything. I'm not getting a lot of, uh, it doesn't have popping bubbles in the foam though. It's kind of like the more, most enjoyable part of uh, cola is uh, the bubbles popping on your nose. I don't smell any caramel. There's something there though. All right, here we go. Swish it around. I'm swishing everything, all right? It's all over my mouth. It's not, it's not, it's not bad. It tastes more like Diet Coke, first of all. It tastes like Diet Coke right off the bat. You got that, uh, that, uh, whatever they use for the sweetener in Diet Coke, it tastes like that aftertaste. You know the aftertaste of Diet Coke? I'm getting that. Um, it's not as, uh, it's not as, uh, I don't know if they have aspartame in, uh, Diet Coke. I think they use something else. I, I could be wrong. I don't know. Fucking, I don't know if they have it. There's nothing in this. Oh, here's the ingredients. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup. It's real sugar. <clears throat> oh. I'm not getting. Okay, now I'm getting the chocolate. I don't know if that came from the burp, though. Hold on. There's a very subtle hint of, there's no chocolate in it. Is there? There's no chocolate, it's caramel. Maybe that's the caramel. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the caramel. It's a caramel, not chocolate. That's my bad, all right? I read chocolate and then I thought I tasted it. It's not strong enough. There's literally no point to this. Why would you want this? It's like Coke with like a weird aftertaste. Where's the coffee? It's easily easy to drink. It's not as uh, sharp. It's not as offensive on the palate as regular Coke is. Like, you know, you, you take a sip and it's like it buzzes. I don't get that with this. It has not been a month since I was last here. Rejoice. Hey, me too. It is kind of flat. I noticed that in the beginning. The bubbles aren't popping. Yeah, don't, don't waste your coffee and don't waste your Pepsi either. It's terrible. Can you clean up any with it? I feel like it would be extra sticky, wouldn't it? It looks like it's getting rougher the more you drink. It is. I don't think I'd ever drink Coke this fast. Let alone Coke mixed with coffee. But, uh, you know, it's a serving size. That's all we're doing is a simple serving size. It's 70 calories. It's not going to put us over the bar there. What did I eat for dinner? I had a... I had a uh, burrito bowl left over from last night. I ate the rest of that. Do I want to drink it? No. But I will make the satisfi the uh, sacrifice. Hey, Gyros. My brother's is probably in his basement. You should mix a normal Coke and Dunkin' iced coffee and see if it tastes better. I, I don't think I'm going to do that, Wubs. Yeah, man, is right. I have said that exact word to him. It didn't seem to work. Why would I root up coffee? Just DM him on disc. Don't bother, okay? I can't even get a response. <sighs> Almost done. We'll get through this. All right, we're getting through it. 
Okay. Yeah, no, don't. Just don't. Don't do it. <clears throat> yeah, we did it. <clears throat> Reminds me of bacon beer. Okay, god damn. <laughs> oh, is that like one of those Joneses sodas? They have like turkey dinner soda or something. Oh, hold on. No, hold on. I did that in the wrong order. <clears throat> I'm gonna get you cucumber soda. <laughs> yeah, the mug of Arnold Palmer is much better. I find it more interesting you have almost no glasses in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the worst part about it is uh, probably eight months ago, we realized that same situation and we went to a uh, local Walmart and uh, picked up a whole box of uh, glassware. Probably like eight glasses. Probably like eight regular. I mean, how many glasses are in there? There's a decent amount of glasses. Nope. <laughs> it's on our kitchen floor. Boxed up. These are the problems we have, all right? We got problems. Explain. Is the TNG cup still around or Steve kill it? I had two TNG cups and Steve killed both of them. Very aggressively. I just got my Twitter account back after a 12 hour suspension for telling a sports writer that he could choke on his own tongue. It took a week to get it back because I don't own a cell phone. Email is the new snail mail. You shouldn't say that to people, okay? It's just sports. Steve could really, he uses the box. He does use the box. He's on it all the time. But yeah. What's this? Ice cream, thank you very much for the 74 months. Be nice Here's to people on the tweeters. So you can buy the vanilla flavor. Thanks. Thanks. I think I'm gonna play I, th I was planning on playing Pac-Man and maybe watching some videos. Nothing real nothing real serious here. That was my plan. I'm still tasting. My mouth feels weird now. It's like coated. You want to start with videos? You know, if we start with videos, we're never going back. That's your plan, isn't it? You don't like, you don't like Pac-Man. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. Play Valorant, please. Uh, I'm... No. No, I don't know. Any more Oz style prison videos? I actually just watched one of his. Is there a little. Uh, I mean, he had that one video that was pretty over the top. Chivalry 2 when? Um, very soon. <laughs> what are we doing? Why do we ask these questions? No, I was going to play Pac Man 99. Gorby and Gray and Mongo. Thank you. Yeah, why we, just, don't ask about future. The future. Mongo, thank you for the 54 months. Corby, thank you for the 14 months. Gray, thank you for the 24. It's a diamond D as well. Almost missed it. New Steve vid from a few hours ago. All right. Where is it? Which Steve? Wallace? I guess we'll do that. That's fine. Fuck, okay, I hate this. Half the time you can add a message, half the time you can't. Pissed. You can type it all. I can read it out. I would be willing. Well, 
Ooh la la. Choke on your own tongue is a saying my mom used to say someone has a big mouth and this pro writer reported me for it. The bigger the mouth, the smaller the ears, I guess. It probably wasn't even him. It was probably one of his readers. Ugh. Let me just digest what we just did, okay? TTS for dimmers, never, never. I found it right, right here. All night daylight, wait. All night daylight camping. Oh, this sounds very interesting. Welcome to Camping with Steve. We're in the bus today and we're gonna take it as far north as we can get, which today will be the 60th parallel oh, or the border between I Alberta and the Northwest it. Territories. Uh, the reason we can't go any further is because the border is closed for travel restrictions. So it's the longest day of the year and we're Never going as far again. north as we can get. So we should be experiencing 16 or 18 hours of sunlight. Uh, it's probably gonna be twilight all night long. Uh, we won't get any true darkness, but what's, that's perfect to test out our solar panels. So let's go camping. Play no says no. We're just starting with this, and then we're gonna get into the deep, in Canada, that's deep, crown land, which means good for camping. Hot, sexy However, game there play. aren't a lot of road accesses in the northern part of the province here. Down south, we could go for days on back roads, little logging roads, resource roads. But out here, the accesses I see seem to be for a very small four by jeep or something, and many of them are blocked off. So you just, know, just take it. Okay, let's focus. I'm not no more stoked. I'm at, I'm off stoked. But that is the goal. And failing that, we'll have to find I've a had my field still. But I can't I'm go back to him yet. We have many more hours of daylight. Get all those buttons he's gonna play. Oh my god, I just saw a bear the other day. It was huge. It ran right in front of my car. It didn't give a fuck. And if I had hit it, the bear would have been fine. Just coming up to the just provincial like border here. Bigger though. And uh, I'm already seeing some flash lights. Hello, they are going to turn us around right up ahead. I just really want to see the sign that says 60th parallel. And hopefully we can film a little bit of that. Uh, actually, we might be able to get into the little information center there as well. Yeah, it was a black bear. We will see. Animal bear, gay, hairy man bear. It was a bear bear, a black bear. closed for the season, and we're not going to be able to to make it anywhere near there. I can already see. Are you just driving to, there trying to, wave me to a corn? What an offensive windshield. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Turn it around. He cleans out culverts and storm drains while battling Nemesis with battling his nemesis the beaver. Good stuff. Is that the guy with the rat? Well there's the sign. That's the only one that's the only sewer guy I watched. I'll take it. Health check? Yeah, at least we got to see the sign. We will just go turn it. around right here. It's just a check. We don't want any problems, but uh, yeah, made it to the 60th parallel. Now we got to go back south and find a spot to camp for the night. Is his wife here? I didn't, I thought I didn't process it. Well, as you can see, there are bears by the barrel full around here. So we'll have to be pretty careful, but we do have our bear spray and all that uh, good stuff. And we're in a pretty solid structure, the bus. So we've pulled into this small uh, place called Indian Cabins. There's not really anything here other than a store. Um, we'd inquired if there is a, you know, somewhere to camp around here that he may know of. And he says, yeah, just go camping right here. Everybody does it. And I, he's apparently got a great spot, a bunch of firewood. so. We're gonna kind of camp out uh, here at this Free last firewood. little civilization uh, on the far northern edge of Alberta. So this will be pretty cool, I think. Yeah, that's uh, that's surprising. Like, you can't go to different provinces in Canada. I think we 
already debunked oh, his whole neck situation? Oh my god, I don't... I haven't noticed it yet. It's not the most picturesque okay, place I've go. camped, but it will do. Um, for a simple overnighter, this is just fine. It's off the road. There's a fire ring. Um, I you can think relax, he just lost crack weight here. everywhere but his neck and or something? tomorrow we'll head on and find somewhere a little more majestic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the solar panels and start messing around with them because I'm really curious to see what they'll do. It's fairly late in the day. We don't have full strength sun right now. It's actually like 6 p.m. Oh my god. But He's that sun is showing no signs of giving up anytime soon. I think it's going to set around solar panels 11 out at 6 p.m. Okay. And at that point we will get a time lapse on to see what happens overnight with the sun. So with no further ado, let's uh, get the solar panels set up and you know, I'm thirsty so I'm going to do Maybe something about is. that. I'm just trying to figure it out. Okay. I've uh, I got these just hanging off the side for now. With Why didn't he want his truck checked? Oh, what the hell's much. going on in here? And that does the job. Now what we got here is four 130 watt panels. They are Eco-Worthy brand that I got from Amazon. And they are wired up in series. So anyone know how much these that cost? That be putting out upwards of uh, 80 volts. Could be putting out almost close to 100 volts. And that is what the charge controller. It's a weird handle. placement too. So this time of day, it is. You have to move his bus around to get the sun. Right now it is 7:43 p.m. Okay. So definitely not the peak of the the sun, and it is putting out when it gets to it. Look at that thing. As soon as it gets to this, 330 watts of power, and that's a total of 520 watts. So at this hour of the day, to be getting 330 good? watts. Uh, into the batteries is astounding so i'll show you the charge controller and yeah it's kind of a really rustic camping experience tonight there's uh, certainly a lot of horse flies that i hope they go away soon. oh god okay so this is a pretty remarkable uh charging performance we're at 307 watts uh in i hope you can see that it was at 330 earlier on but uh, the sun's going down. This the sun is dipping behind a little cloud there, and it is coming up to eight o'clock p.m. So Jesus. it's not full strength sun overhead. It is and bright out there. We'll he wasn't joking about that. Happens. Eight p.m. I gotta get away from these horse flies. Oh, that's a lot of horse flies. And I think it's also time for a step two. Yeah. Ah, oh, things are hot in the bus. We're just running the generator to get the AC to cool this thing down. And I'm hiding from these uh, horse flies that are all over the place. But of course, it's time for it's step two. So I have somebody to thank for this one uh, in particular. Uh, the bus is not stealthy apparently, because on this trip I went outside and found a note. Oh. And it looks like Mike uh, had left some beer and a note. Where's Mike? On the back of is Mike the, in the uh, chat. The bus. So thank you very much, Mike. Um, and it's good stuff far too. north summer so, solstice Alexander camping so, um, <laughs> of course um yeah if you do happen to see that's bus, what the that, title meant Moscow, but certainly not expected this wasn't the title so, though hmm. yes did he change and, the name uh, while i was viewing you know, it odds are you could probably knock on the door if you see the bus around and i'll have a beer for you uh so cheers the bus is cooling down, generator is running, and I think I'm just going to explore around this place a little bit. The owner was so kind to let us stay here. Uh, it looks like he did have an open camp here at one point. I don't know Possibly about for um, I don't know if I tree planters, oil field workers, uh, uh, people like, just yeah, you can traveling stay through because there's nothing really down else around dangerous here property. for quite a while. Feel um, free. Uh, sadly, it looks like it's fallen into disrepair. I'm not going to climb into this thing and rummage through it, but... Um, yeah, you can see that and he's gonna trespass in the in the it's seen better days This man loud you according on his property. to the the owner out here um, bears 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 uh, Which doesn't surprise me because we've seen two so far uh, The first one I, I guarantee the bear my camera on hand the, right away um, So I couldn't film it but uh, Then I had the camera closer by and the second time as soon as I saw the bear I whipped it out and I got it on camera and oh yeah Missing windows and everything else. Uh, if I wasn't allowed to actually be here, <laughs> this would be a place to stealth camp. So there's all these drums of, I don't know what they used to be, fuel, I'm guessing. Looks like there has been a few people uh, out here 
sadly making a bit of a mess of things. Oh, aviation fuel. Delta aviation fuel. What the so, hell? So, uh, I don't know why they were using that out here, but uh, cool. Uh, it, it will be a good spot for the night. And it's got to be empty. Going to get this fire started shortly here. And hopefully drive away some of these um, horse flies. It's starting to cool off, which is great. Uh, the sun's going to set right about there somewhere, probably. And then it's going to rise again right over there somewhere. So I'm going to move the bus around so the solar panels can catch the light in the morning. And by the time we wake up, uh, we should be probably fully charged on all the batteries because they're all hooked up right now together the two starting batteries and the two house batteries so i'll move this around then we can start a fire and burn all the packaging that came with these uh, solar panels and i think everything's going to be just fine i'm going to get the time lapse going so i can film i'm guessing it's going to be basically twilight all night and yeah then we'll get well, some food cooking see this and hunker down and we're gonna find somewhere a little bit more photogenic tomorrow so the time right now is 10 23 p.m <laughs> that's crazy and we still got a little bit more sun but <sighs> i don't know the how my brain would, switched would out be affected the by this now. i feel like that's the so experience certainly time i want for a fire. i just want to see how my body would react to sunlight all night log things and that should get things going and hopefully drive away a few of these skeeters because they're uh, formidable. Hmm. Don't know what that was. <laughs> yeah, I know the mosquitoes the at the northern that? latitudes are legendary. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna <laughs> are they? find out more about that. I'll probably try to dig out that thermocell. Uh, through the heat of the day, there was not many to be seen, but as uh, as it cools off, uh, there's some dragonflies, and they are. It looks like he's trying to like light a brick on fire way. right now. People always say, if you see dragonflies, it's and a good I wish sign. that's they're what was actually skeetos, happening. You know, a thousand times their body weight a day, but they wouldn't be <laughs> here unless there was a lot of mosquitoes. So, oh boy. There is a river over there. Wilson, so hello, I'm Wilson. Sure people yes. probably already Googled where this place is. Gone for second Thursday. And I'm just not keen on traveling out to that river, given the severe quantity of bears in the barrier. And that's just fine. We will make a base camp here and get some food going. Oh. Quite the thing. It's gonna be uh, miserable. It's gonna be miserable here. You better get that fire roaring. Chief five two zero one. Thank you for the twenty two months, man. Hello. There's also a bunch of wood sprinkled over there that looks like we could burn. Um, heads up to the the fellow that operates this place, uh, the Indian Cabin's um, store here. He is. Uh, he actually had a an article on CBC. He's keeping this place open and he's losing money um, because the road is basically closed right there. And well, he's, we are going to definitely he's allowed to camp here this time. He's not definitely trying camping. to get some business to to stay going because he's like he's like you and I. You know, he doesn't like to be uh, within civilization. He loves it out here, and normally the road is a little well traveled. Uh, he's trying to get new gas pumps out here, and we just we just uh, met the guy this week or just today. I've actually. never talked to someone we as much as he's talked to, to this sure owner. That, uh, we were curious if they had diesel here, and they don't. <laughs> so our gas tank's at half right now, and we've gone more than half the trip. So hopefully, we're not going to be hitchhiking down the side of the road. Uh, Burn all the stuff that came with the uh, charge controller. Uh, just off of uh, off of Amazon, it was the Eco Power. Oh, that's the sound. It's these fuel drums. Uh, when it cools down, they're buckling. Okay. 
Yeah, that's all right. So we'll burn this. We'll burn all the cardboard that came with the solar panels. And then we're gonna finally get something to eat. Oh, I cannot wait. Here, these will do just fine. What's the snake situation up here? I don't like this. Burn this sub too. Thank you, <laughs> Jam Jar. Thank you for the 75 months. Okay. The fire is burning. Packaging is burning from everything else. And for dinner. Beautiful wife has whipped up a salad. Ah, oh, bitch. How depressed he is. This is why he never brings her. See what's in the fridge and try to make this work. He really, he really put that. He really put that. I'm going to see what's in the fridge and try to make this work. Sad Steve. Ha ha! I don't think that's a good idea. Is he trying to send smoke signals for some reason? Oh, that'll do it. Yeah, it is 1237. Holy cow. Yeah, you can see that. There. That's... Um, and I'm going to have some salad, hit the hay. Well, well, well he was, that was his own stuff, all right? That was from the solar panels. He's, <laughs> he's going to the buildings, ripping down drywall, burning it for no reason. What, what do you mean you're disappointed? Good morning. Still charging at about 100 watts. It doesn't seem to like the overcast. Oh, uh, and also, we're not at the <laughs> proper angle for the sun. That was my best guess for where it'd be shining in the morning. I feel like but you just want to put that on the so. roof. So, no? We're packing up. We're going to head a little bit more towards civilization, somewhere a little more scenic, majestic, and um, hopefully we can find somewhere like that. Yeah, this is a real shit hole, honestly. Let's put these down and let's get out of here before we wear out our welcome. Oh, oh, whoa. Almost lost a hand there. Look how thin they are. Those are like just wow. Wow. I don't know. You could put those anywhere. Those are just like wow. Yeah, you missed the step two. <laughs> Some guy brought him step twos apparently when he was out here and left a note. But he didn't see him somehow. The guy snuck up on him. I did have a small issue with the charge controller. And I really hope it's just a glitch. But oh uh, woke up and should have really been charging. And I looked over, the battery was at like 12.3 volts. That's not charging voltage. And uh, I come outside, it was getting good voltage to the panels, but not charging the battery. Uh, so it may be in the settings somewhere, I'm not sure. But yeah, it was not charging the battery, although it had plenty of sunlight Hopefully and plenty he of power. Didn't burn the and user manual. what I did was I unplugged the solar panels and plugged them back in, and then it started charging. So I really hate having to reset electronics for them to work properly, and that completely defeats the purpose of a yeah. charge controller. Um, Try it's working in a phone store, do Steve. Thing and you don't worry about it. But we're going to monitor People the situation People love when they closely, go in for tech support and you just restart their phone and hand it back to them. In, they uh, love that. In this type of a situation. What the hell is HD4 services, by the way? Is, is that something he's doing? Oh. Hello, Eternal. How are you? You get the part where he attaches solar panels to his nuts? Yeah, I, I don't think so. <laughs> the magnets are gonna fall off. And they're still going. He doesn't have a. He doesn't have any water fluid or something. 
I can't even pass inspection without washer fluid. As long as the fuel tank is symmetrical, we should be able to make it back. We've burned a half of our diesel, and uh, <laughs> let's let's hope there's an equal half on the other side because we're about halfway uh, through the journey. Hello, Wild Wayne. Hello, Wild Wayne. The fuel situation parents. is dire. We're all watching the living room so together uh, on the big screen. Hopefully, make it to town. Hey, we got a sixteenth of a tank left. Family time. And I think we're about twenty Sharing kilometers away. Sharing a bowl of popcorn. Away, so. Let's uh, see if this thing will do it. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Bro. Oh, thank God. Well, safe to say, that's as low as I ever want to see that fuel tank. <laughs> But we made it. Time he to has revealed here. his wife. Yeah, yeah we're gonna see seen her before. Just how many liters we can put into this tank. Check his glass. Gotta wait for the turbo to cool down Pretty here. Sure. One hundred and two liters of diesel. Uh, that was bone dry. Steve, there's a I'm bug. guessing it's a hundred liter Ow! tank. And I really brimmed it, and I brimmed it last time, uh, just so it was almost spilling out of the tank. And if I didn't do that, we wouldn't have made it back here. So. You know, uh, we're gonna look at the maps. We're gonna see where we're going from here, and find somewhere a little. <laughs> There's a huge bug on him. What is that? To camp. Do we really? Well, we've been approached twice by people that think we're an actual forest services company. Um, the first guy was wondering if we were on day. <laughs> more. I just want to make sure we all saw it. Okay, we're, we're all seeing this whole situation. Uh, that was bone dry. I'm guessing it's a hundred liter tank. Look. And I know it's probably I harmless, really okay? brimmed it, and I brimmed it I last time. Want, I wouldn't want uh, it on Just me. so it was almost spilling out of the tank. And if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have made it back here. I don't know what the so, hell is. Some kind of beetle. Uh, we're going to look at the maps. Big boy. We're going to see where we're going it's from not here. not a horse And find somewhere a little uh, more picturesque to camp. Well, <laughs> we've been approached twice by people that think we're an actual forest services company. Well, I um, wonder why. The first guy was wondering if we were on days off. Um, the second person, they owned a forest company themselves and they were trying to network or scare us out of their territory, I'm not sure. So we're off to a campground for tonight because uh, we can't really find a lot of crown land, public land areas to camp up They're here. They're trying to so run them off. We did find a campground that looks pretty good. So we'll tuck in there for Competing the night. Competing forest and, services uh, we'll are on the on beat. The journey. Wait, at least we got a clean windshield. Oh, look at that. It looks like the sign's like even like just a magnet. So it looks like instead of a bridge, they want us to drive onto that little platform and float across the river. Sounds safe. They do? <laughs> oh, they do. <laughs> hey, they got a horse trailer across. Get on there. They're waving them in. It's like, I've actually never seen anything like this. This is like a one car ferry. I've never seen this. I've never seen this. Believe it or not, I've never I've never seen a ferry in my entire life. What's a cable car? Mm. He just keeps going. I can see Steve doing something like that. The bus just rolls off. Oh shit, we're filling up. Uh, I don't know if that's to actually balance out our weight or if they need it on the other side, but yeah, uh, we're on a pretty fully loaded uh, ferry right now. on the now. other side, Steve. with its spin off. <laughs> oh shit. Look at that. What a helmsman. Well, we've pulled into a small private campground uh, around Tangent, Alberta. I think it's called the Tangent Campground or the Tangent Park. Something like that. But 
as we're getting reintroduced into the van life full-timing boondocking if you will we realize we need some more storage so this thing was on sale and we're trying to build it inside the bus and uh, assembling furniture is usually a test of oh my God. any marriage uh, but particularly in a dingy little bus with cramped quarters so we'll see what happens he's gonna kill her Are you serious? So here it is, okay. the first piece of temporary permanent furniture in here. Beautiful wife got it together herself without too many extra parts. And now we can start getting stuff out of the bags that are kind of like just piled everywhere. So step one, organization. Beautifully assembled furniture in there from beautiful wife. She did the whole thing. Uh, so cheers. Step two is step two. Um, from Mike again. Cheers. That Enjoying gun. this. Can we put that somewhere? Please? Now this campground. We'll just pick that there's up. There's no put firewood, and they haven't come around to give us firewood, so we're just burning the packaging. The, the tree right here. The furniture Take it. came with. Take Whoa. the trees, team, and tell them they didn't bring the wood. Hopefully, the firewood wagon comes around at some point. Is that a thing that can't find a fire in a red wagon? How do you like that? Good morning. Nothing better than waking up in a nice air conditioned bus. It's video, not crawling ever. with mosquitoes everywhere. Uh, I have to say, my curiosity regarding the north of 60th parallel mosquito has been satisfied. So, we got solar panels that we're going to put on the roof. And better was get that, that really started, a just going to crawl up to the that emergency was exit. That reminded me of like, remember in, in Beetlejuice when Beetlejuice became a roach and he was like, hey, how are you? That was him. I don't know if it was a June bug. I don't know about those feelers for the June bug. Okay, I'd have to, I'd have to check that. So, Don't worry. up here we got the solar panels kind of laid out, what his line we're going to put them here. See, that's better. And we're mere moments away from pure solar. It's much place. better, okay. So, I was at the hardware store and I grabbed some caulk. There you go, yeah. And we're going to use that to <laughs> stick these on. Because it's something that we can actually take them off in the future. If I do PL yeah, premium grow or something up, please. weird on here, grow up. they're never moving. So this we at least have a chance of, of moving them around. Let's, let's give her. <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna work nicely, I think. It just, I think it really bothers me that he didn't know it was there the whole time. He must have been able to see something in the camera. I'm sure he can see what he's filming. Goddamn YouTuber. You know the old saying. There's no wrong way to silicone solar panels onto the roof of a bus. My grandfather taught me that thing back in 1989. Same for the test. Fuck it up. Okay. All right. All right. Why don't you just get up? Uh, just get up there. That charge controller is claiming to be receiving 350, almost up to 400 watts off those solar panels. And it's a little bit cloudy out. So I think um, when we finally get some full sun, we'll really see what this thing can do. But I'm very thrilled so far, as long as the solar panels stick to the roof. Okay. Well, we've now got the bus solar equipped. And They're gonna be like I think of it's ice time for me to do something When he gets on the highway, they're just going to fly um, off. I'm trying to do like 50% stealth, 50% bus. So that's where we're at right now. So I do have to do a huge shout out to all the folks who have donated to the beer donation fund. And that turns into the solar panel donation fund, uh, keeps us going. So thank you all very much. And uh, if you like watching these adventures on the road, please consider subscribing. Uh, it does help a long way as far as the algorithm. It's a big mystery to all of us, but uh, 
the algorithm seems to like subscribers. So aside from that, that's uh, that's where we're at now. Uh, as we're traveling on our journey, we will come Law across more stealthy spots. Thomas K. Brown. Looks like the home Anyone progress is being delayed a little bit. Uh, we have to get an engineer to look at uh, a few things. So um, we were expecting to kind of be fully done with the house at like the end of August. But as it stands right now, we are probably van dwelling for the foreseeable future. <laughs> uh, between van dwelling, stealth camping, and this the odd hotel the here and there to, uh, to wash ourselves up, I think uh, we can have a meaningful existence. So uh, uh, cheers everybody for uh, Thanks house. for watching and we're gonna cut this video off here. We got some friends to visit and, um, friends. and then we'll look for a stealth adventure and we'll see you guys next week. Cheers. <clears throat> Foundation stuff? An engineer? Dude, the house, uh, you know, it, it looked, I knew there had to be something wrong with it. Something had to be wrong with it, because it looked like it could be nice. But it also looked like, yeah, MRE Steve has been back, yeah. He's been back, he went, he's like, he's camping now. The house looked terrible. It had character, though. It really did. It had a lot of character. It had like wood beams and stuff. When was his last video? His last video was a month ago already. Jeez, this guy is worse than uh, someone I know. <laughs> Not talking about myself. I wouldn't put myself down like that. Hey, Thank you. It's a special day. I'm in the middle of filming a case of MCIs from 69. Rib shaped barbecue flavor pork normal. patty. <laughs> 16. Individual or MRE. Menu 16. I have six, let me see if I have six. barbecue flavored pork patty. The best MRE no longer produced, or at least one of the best. Pork rib replaced Jamaican jerk chicken in 2003, and it ran from 2003 up to 2016. Chicken burrito bowl replaced it and it's still in service. If and when you see these things for sale, they go for at least 20 or 30 bucks. All right, let's give it a look. Look at that, the spoon's stuck in there. This thing was stuck in the case I don't have too, when I pulled it out, I tore. Same thing with that. I have an 18. It's right off the bat. Here's the main. 19 grams of fat, 11 grams of protein. Rib-shaped barbecue. This is... Tropical punch this flavor. This is going to be great. No fruit juice. Beverage base powder. Santa Fe style rice least. and beans. Packed the 21st day of 2016. Oh, nice. Apple jelly. You don't see apple jelly too often. Usually grape or blackberry. Ooh, banana nut ranger Apple jelly bar. sounds delightful. Trans fat free. I've never had it though. Beverage bag. Peanut butter, 1.5 ounce. This is the last year, 2016, for the one and a half ounce peanut butter and cheese, which was reduced down to one ounce in 2017. Those surplus calories were reallocated typically into one other component. Flameless ration heater or FRH. Barbecue sauce accessory packet and then wheat snack bread trans fat free twin pack so there are two of them in there mm. but they're thinner than your regular wheat <clears> snack <throat> bread accessory packet chewing gum genial coffee iodized salt creamer moist towelette a packet of splenda or it's sucralose, and then toilet paper. That's looking pretty good. All right, let's get this out onto a tray. Nice. Okay, let's first start off by heating up that main inside. Maybe throw that barbecue sauce in there too, warm it up. I prefer cold barbecue sauce. I can't believe they got rid of this menu. 
No, that's why I don't have it. They got rid of it. I'm gonna set this directly in it. You get better heat dispersion. Oh yeah, that's working. Six-year-old heater, or about this feels five a little and a half intense. year old heater. That is getting hot. Oh, no one needs the dinghy to ever find, okay? No Set the beans and rice on the other side. Set the barbecue sauce in there, too. <laughs> that was a you know, he probably did that before. A long time ago. He probably did that with his first MRE. While that's doing its thing, let's check out that coffee. I get the feeling he's probably just sick of eating these. Genial coffee. Looking like a spray dry. It smells a little bit like coffee in some type one. A little bit of mint, probably from that chewing gum. Sitting next to that. That shouldn't happen. There should be no flavor from that chewing gum coming anywhere near the coffee. It's it's sealed separately. The tropical punch beverage base. Real quick while we're at it. So it's preposterous. You would even suggest that. This stuff. It smells like tropical punch detergent. Mm -hmm. I love soap. Oh, shit. You'll never see me doing that. Ooh, I got a second spoon. I have an idea. Oh, shit. Speed it up. There it is. Nice. Nice. Okay. It's a special day. What can I say? Why not check out that banana nut ranger bar? Ooh. Man, that smells like fake banana, which I love that smell, like an artificial banana and a brand grain. Ooh, there's half of it. Look, Andre, they're still in my room. I don't know what to do with them. I may have to eat them. Let's make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Apple jelly. This is the best. Yeah, strawberry jam, blackberry jam, grape jelly, and then apple jelly. I will take no That's my when, favorite. When I, I guess something. runner up would be the strawberry jam. Blackberry is great with flavor, but then you get those little seeds, and man, if you bite down the wrong way, you can hurt a tooth in that peanut butter. Boy, I missed that one and a half ounce peanut butter and cheese. Anybody else miss that? Man, good old days. Got to be careful doing this. You could shoot peanut butter or cheese. It can sometimes burst out the side and get all over your wall or ceiling. Got to knead the jelly too because it's apple juice. It's the main ingredient. So it's like liquid. Right. We eat snack bread. Smells fresh. This stuff. I'm not really too sure about wheat snack bread. I can't believe I said it smells fresh. It smells like fresh <laughs> wheat snack bread. Perfect. They even give you that kind of bread loafish yeah, look to it's it. It's a nice touch. Curves. Just adds in some. But that went to like a focus really. group. They're like, no, how can we make this cool. more, more palatable for people? No, it's not. Better if they had a crust. You need a crust really to pull this whole look off. All right, I don't know about this apple jelly. Nice golden toned yeah. apple jelly. Yeah, I don't I know. love this stuff. It's like thickened apple juice mm. with a fair amount of tartness. It's like almost sour, mouth watering. And the peanut. I don't even know if I believe them anymore. It's almost too much for this, but 
I just feel like, uh, believe it or not, I do jelly. prefer jam. Almost too much of it as well. Let's put some on the. In every the case. Because I'm going to put some peanut butter on there too, since there's so much of it. Do the jam thing. That's my jam. I can remember where it was. Let's check out that coffee. Oh, God. That's like a week. And he he even resub today and I didn't that, use that, that, that's it. That's my jam. Type two. It really reminds me of diner what? coffee. You and dumb bitch. Diner coffee that's been sitting in the pot on the burner for about an hour. Maybe an hour and a half. This is why I don't stream, because something like that happens. And jelly. I completely drop the ball. How well will this work? And then it eats at me mm. for a week and a half. Not hey, that Carl, well. happy Look birthday. The is the only reason we're here, out. by the way. No. I saw it. I'm like, this. Mm. Boy, oh boy. I'm going to stream on his That's birthday. A sloppy sandwich. In theory, here we are. it's brilliant, but in practice, it's pretty messy. We eat snack breads just. Oh, my birthday's tomorrow. Well, maybe that. I'll stream for oh, your birthday right too. Now. We'll make it work. You have to be tactical, maneuver around the edges. Um, mm, it's actually halfway decent. What we'll do is you're gonna fill up on this stupid crap sandwich. Will you stop it? How do you not fill up from this sandwich? Mm -hmm. I'm full looking at you it. You could put the rib in between that with barbecue sauce and do the same thing. It's the thing after that, much. not really. Oh my gosh, the smell is just noxious and bizarre. Hmm. That's the kind of red dye that'll give you the red around the ring of your mouth and on your tongue. And it's like being a kid all Same, over. Same, just me, man. I'm sure it's great for when you gotta treat water out of a river. And I think that's what that's for because it's so brilliantly red that you could get like copper toned water out of a stagnant pond or lake and treat it with iodine or chlorine and that right there will overpower the flavor and visuals of treated water in the most sketchy of scenarios it's tart what kind of claim was that very artificial okay this main yeah it's heated up don't don't listen to anything he just said okay i'm uh I'm putting my foot down. Yeah. I want to see the rib shapes. Rib shaped BBQ. Mm, that's a strong smell of green chili pepper and cheese. And the pork rib. Are those olives? They're pork shaped. Mm, that's the best. Are they rib shaped? It's like a Are they actually pork? Smoke, barbecue and savory pork, patty. pork. Just grind it. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like a McRib, guys. That's all it is. It's like leftover McRib patties up from McDonald's. Looking pretty juicy in the finishing touch. That barbecue sauce. That's where they went. 10 grams of sugar in it. Oh, there's more sauce? Oh my god. Oh. Holy shit. Are those actually olives? Okay. I was just joking. Love that thing. It's so salty and savory. You can't go wrong with this. I hope there's still a few floating around out there that are edible. Like 10 years from now, that'd be great. This is so satisfying. It's overly processed. Awesome on its own. Great flavor. You just makes so many contradictory statements that I don't know what to think. Barbecue sauce. 
Mm. The barbecue sauce, even though it's so sweet, it works well with this pork patty. Here, let's try the Santa Fe rice and beans. Look at all that chili. It's rice and beans. It's almost a bit runny in texture, though. And the cheese is great. It's almost like there's an MRE cheese already mixed in there, like jalapeno cheese spread. Ooh, that was a spicy bite. Really spicy. And it's probably the spiciest component that ever ended up in an MRE. It gets spicy when it ferments. Oh my God. Celebrating the 4th of July a little early, Steve. Sweet snack bread is a little bit ridiculous. Greasy burger Greasy patty. Burger. Thank you for the 54 That's months. Not my do. birthday. Little it's little girl's birthday. And peanut butter on your Ranger bar. The rest goes fairly well with the, the wheat snack bread. Maybe use like half as much peanut butter and jelly. Not really the most effective of bread, but it's not bad. This, what, a, what a crisp this right shirt here this is. Is shell stable food perfection. There's so much flavor. The Santa Fe rice and beans. It's ironed. Like, I think he dry cleans that. And, I mean, hardly any rice. It's mostly sauce that just pairs so well with the, the pork patty. Curled his hair. I think it's just, maybe that's just the humidity. From the golden arches, thrown into a retort pouch, giving these folks a Taste at home, these soldiers. And so it is a McRib. I think it was brilliant. I'm going to miss this menu. Like one day, it's just, they're all going to be gone, you know? Like the soldiers, the fallen. You're gone, but not forgotten. This is great. There's jalapeno chilies in there. Really add to the flavor. And they're not overpowering or too spicy, but it's just right. And it really seems like MRE jalapeno cheese spread, black beans. And what a fitting like a tribute. A few grains of rice in there. It is pretty thin, the rice. But that's almost better, though. It's like, again, a really nice, flavorful sauce. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. Cheese spread. But I've forgotten. Soldiers, the fallen. You're gone, but not forgotten. You're gone, but this not forgotten. Great. You're gone, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone, you're forgotten. Really add to the flavor, and they're not overpowering or too spicy. Is that enough? I don't know. It's just right on. And it really gone. seems like MRE jalapeno cheese spread. Black beans. Do we need more? I'm going to miss this menu. Like, one day, it's just, they're all going to be gone, you know? Like the soldiers, the fallen. You're gone, but not forgotten. This is great. There's jalapeno chilies in there. Really add to the flavor, and they're not overpowering or too spicy, but it's just right. All right. And it really seems like MRE jalapeno cheese spread. Yes. Does this work? The soldiers. Only fall on the greens of rice in there. It pretty oh, seven to the fallen, right but up. not forgotten <laughs> menu. That's almost better than Hold on. the soldiers. The fallen. You're gone, but not forgotten. Like the soldiers, the fallen. It's too long. Gone, but not for us. Like, I'll shrink it after. Really nice, flavorful sauce with a few beans and grains of rice thrown in there for good measure. It appears beautifully. Ridiculous. Thank you for the 27 months. Pork rib that it's like a rib Very kind words. hunk of meat with little grill marks on it to make it seem more normal. Hmm. Maybe they'll bring it back one day. Well, you, are they going to bring the soldiers back too? Wouldn't you need it both ways? Pretty selfish of you only to ask for the MREs bag and not the soldiers. It's a guy. Cheap artificial banana flavor with some kind of bran grain flavor. Just the way it smells. Not normal. Very memorable. Oh. I wonder how dunkable it is. Finish up this PB and J bit real quick. Mm. That wheat snack bread is so bizarre. Back to this. There are little rice crisps in it. 
like, or something. It gives you a nice crunch, other than the nuts, which seems like little bits of walnut. Something soft and easy to chew. That genial coffee just only gets worse once it's cold. But I'd take that over one of those sugar-free orange or what have you beverage bases any day. They end up in like half of the accessory packets in a case of MREs. It'll do the job. Ranger bar with peanut butter and jelly. Well, that's not bad. Peanut butter and banana. It softens the artificial essence of that banana, makes it taste a little more real. And those go hand in hand. And the apple jelly adds a little bit of sweetness and tartness that also helps accentuate the flavor of the Ranger bar. This is really good. So much green chili in this. It's astounding. I mean, they def definitely didn't hold back on flavor. There are two What's kernels of about? corn in there. We'll be seeing that later. Hmm. <laughs> Just call what he was saying. You'd definitely be seeing that. Chewing gums. Probably sooner than Pretty later. Good. Sometimes after a few years, this stuff starts to break down and get brittly. Oh yeah, that's the old kind of gum. Ooh, it was a real firm chew. Good old palate cleansing peppermint sweetened with xylitol. So this was the menu 16 before chicken burrito bowl. Rib shaped barbecue pork patty. Chicken burrito bowl is 16 a now. A legendary menu and will be the favorite for many. He's never he's experience. never commented on the well, anyway, the aftermath this is Steve that I know. Of. I hope you liked the video. I would like to comment on my back aftermath. at you with something new. Or old. Oh, uh, there was a mild cool. chest pain. See ya. This was indigestion from pounding a Coca-Cola with coffee and caramel. Do not buy this. He did when he got botulism. He's only done that once though, really. He was an inference. I don't have a button for this. All right. Um, so, yeah. I guess it's all caught up there. Oh my God. Is this the one that I ate? No. Did he eat? Oh my God. I got to watch. Damn it. I don't think this is the pizza one that I ate. These guys are loving it. I don't think. And here it is, considered the holy grail <laughs> of all MREs. Propaganda. Menu twenty-three. Pizza. Pepperoni pizza. Get the hell out of here. Let's check this out. They were so happy. Real quick, the there's a lot code at the bottom. Eight zero four five. The forty-fifth day of twenty eighteen. Has an inner wrapper Holy as well. Holy shit! All right, so right off the bat, got Bro, a hot beverage chuck bag. It. Chuck it. Garbage. Flameless ration heater. MRE spoon. Chocolate protein drink powder. Oh, look at that. Twelve grams of protein. Only when they're eating pizza. Thirty-six do they look grams that of sugar. Well, he got bon I think he did get bonchosm from something. Some Italian breadsticks, trans fat free. He's, he's eating some really sketchy stuff. Got our standard accessory packet. That matches, that's nice. Cheese, Cheese spread, spread with jalapenos. Nice. That's like gold. Oatmeal cookie, also trans fat free. Pepperoni pizza with cheese and sauce. It's a pretty long list of ingredients. Holy fuck. Yeah, with 30 years of development, Natick Food Labs has corrected the issue. I don't. What's gum Arabic? What's xanthan gum? 
What is, oh my God, pasteurized processed mozzarella cheese product. Cheese, milk, cheese, culture, salt, enzymes, water. Yeah, I don't know if this is pizza. Why is water on there twice? Is that just the cheese in the second part, I guess? Yeah, with 30 years of development, Natick Food Labs has corrected the issues with shelf stability. Early versions like this one, I'm going to show you. What the fuck? <laughs> that one had moisture, oxygen, and pH issues that would make the pizza mold, you know, get moldy before the three-year inspection. Cardboard sleeve for the last item. Cherry blueberry cobbler. Then the accessory packet, it's salt, a moist towelette, sugar, coffee instant type two, spray dry. I have to say that pizza. They brought it back. I'm sure that's gonna be much better than coffee instant type yeah, three. Pizza when you're Creamer, in school, chewing gum, pizza that same old well. roll of toilet paper and matches. Now that's a serious layout of food. All right, so let's get this out on your pizza tray. Pizza was one of the Next. few days okay, that I got so we're school first lunch. Start with this pizza. Okay, let's see if we can get this in there too. These FRHs don't have a lot of space, so it's a tight fit. This is not going to fit in there as well. So let's try out the cherry blueberry cobbler. Yeah, this cobbler will be great heated up anyway. Oh yeah, this is what's supposed to go in with it. Perfect fit. Nice and snug. That's definitely doing its thing already. Take a nice big whiff of that. Mm. Let's check out this oatmeal cookie. They took the bag. You gotta, God, you gotta mix rich. the chemicals together Cinnamon, for it to heat up properly. A little bit of nutmeg. It really smells like a donut. You know, sometimes I specifically have a craving for Elio's pizza. Elio's is like on another level. The it's not, it's not, you don't really crave Elio's when you crave pizza at the same time. It just seems back. different. That smells almost identical to the old spray dried. Something about a perfect toast to the Elio's pizza. Not quite as much powder. It was just, there's, I'm going to leave the creamer like and sugar out. Nice. Alright, and then this chocolate protein drink powder. It calls for eight ounces. Chocolate protein? Do you have anything to wash anything down? Like, this is a very heavy. Wow, this smells rich of chocolate. You got and coffee very sweet. And, like, chocolate mix? I just get like a fruit punch or something. Pizza with chocolate, protein, cake, and coffee. I'm really not impressed. Oh my god. That is gonna coat your insides. Shake this up a little bit. You can use this as the rock or something. Just prop it up. That still has a few I've already more done the vomit. I'm sorry if you missed it. Italian okay. breadsticks and jalapeno cheese spread. I'm sure that I seems didn't like save a nice combo. Too. I didn't even eat. I couldn't wow, eat I that smell much of it. Honestly, basil and oregano, like right off the bat. Basil and oregano. Um, so we're scored. Okay. To where you get four. Breadsticks. Cheese breadsticks. Put it on the tray. Tracy. Michipussy, Michipussy, Michipussy. Thank you, Tracy, for the 25 months. It's a perfect allotment of cheese spread for three of the four breadsticks. That's great. We can try one on its own. 
Oh yeah, it had a little bit left. Jalapeno cheese spread, it blows bacon cheese spread and standard plain cheese spread right out of the water. So much flavor. So let's check out this coffee instant type two. Wow. This is near perfect coffee. I, I don't know. I think the breadsticks that do is a terrible, robust, to be honest lightly with you. acidic, next to no bitterness, no sugar. They, they just look very or cream dry. required instant Joe. You can't go wrong. I think it'd be perfect with this cookie. I mean, having dessert first, no rules against that. Oh, watch your teeth. That has a fair amount of shortening. It's not overly sweet. Little bits of roughage with the oats. It's a very crunchy cookie with a fair amount of cinnamon and nutmeg. Hmm. When you're waiting for your yeah, cobbler you're, you're, and you're pizza right to heat up, they're not this is the perfect thing to do. You just bad. have your coffee and your cookie. This is a decadent yeah, combination. I'd rather dip it. Truly. Maybe dip it in the chocolate. Can we try that? Oh, you ate the whole thing. Okay. And follow it up with a sip of this chocolate protein Sludge. drink. Oh, wow. That is an overpowering, slight chemical flavor with a chocolatey cheapness overtone. That's the only way I can put it. That doesn't taste very normal. Nice. <laughs> Let's check out this Italian breadstick. One without cheese first. Primo Jif Practical hmm. There's Well a light sweetness to that. Bunk. It's very soft. It almost seems malleable. Kind of doughy. Whoa, whoa. Are these specially designed crackers? What am, what am I looking at here? I don't like it. I don't like it. Could you roll this into a ball? Yeah, you practically can. Look at that. Wait, what is he? Missed. Could you roll this into a ball? Yeah, you practically can. Look at that. It has like the texture of sliced white bread. I didn't want to know. Light flavor of onion, oregano, and again, basil. It's a really nice imitation breadstick. It's the closest that you're going to get to one in a ration. Wow. This is genius. With the jalapeno cheese spread, I feel like my head's going to explode. This is so much flavor. The jalapeno, it's a little bit spicy with that creamy, his artificial head is going cheese. to explode, everyone. I can everyone. eat these so fast. This requires very little effort to chew. You don't have to put the cheese right on. You can you have just, the cheese in one hand and squeeze it out. It. And eat the cheese with each bite of this. If you're on the go, it wouldn't be too difficult to do. I think this is ready. Oh yeah, that's nice and hot. Wow. A perfect flameless ration heater. He's impressed every time. Here's the pizza, 30 years in the making. Oh boy, yeah, all right. Oh, that smells like some freshly heated up frozen pizza. That uh, is... Look at that. Uh, uh, it's, it's very close to what uh, it looked pepperoni. like. Some chunks it did not taste like pizza though. Some flat slices up there. There wasn't even a hint of pizza on mine. But this is cobbler. a different different brown wow, that was definitely the thing to do heating it up look at that mm. a sweet and inviting smell of primarily cherry skimped on the blueberries here's the grand finale <laughs> Hoverboard champion. Oh my god. I want that shirt too. Wow. This is better than some frozen pizza out there. Really? Which ones? Oops. Cheese went in the cobbler. Speaking of the cheese, this is a special mozzarella put in an FRH and it can't melt. You put it in the microwave or the oven, it'll burn before it melts. Little pieces of pepperoni. 
That doesn't sound right. It has a great texture. Let's get another piece. Can't tell if it's pork or beef. Nice little savory, <laughs> not overly dry pieces of pepperoni. In 2017, there were still issues with this pizza, and they shelved the project. They would take the pizza and they'd put it in this hot box. Do you think there's like chefs Fahrenheit working on these? Six months. They the have like a whole MRE kitchen that they were trying to in three years. make the perfect and MRE the pizza. pizza. Brown. It didn't affect it nutritionally. It's just government didn't want to give soldiers brown pizzas. This is supposed to boost morale, not decrease it. You know, a soldier doesn't want to open up MRE pizza. It's a highly anticipated item. You know, soldiers were asking for it since the birth of the MRE back in 1981. It was a, it's pretty much folklore. You know, they just couldn't pull it off. So the last thing the government wanted to do was give them brown pizza. Even though it tasted fine and it had, you know, full nutritional value, that oxidation was visually unappealing. The bread, the sauce, the cheese. I can't believe any of this together, story is not real. Not getting moldy. That's amazing. Let me check out this cobbler. <laughs> we think like came down from the White House. Oh yeah. You'd get the soldiers this some decent pizza. It's perfect heated up. There's like Make sure the cheese doesn't melt though. Mixed in with it. And it's not I'm mushy. That to happen. There are pieces of cherry and blueberry. The fruit isn't mushy. That dough that's mixed in with it, that actually is one of the best desserts yeah, for ration. Yeah. So this MRE had two desserts, the oatmeal cookie and this cobbler. The cobbler's not overly sweet. Hmm. I just hit a little crunch of something. That was nice. Wow. Yeah, it's like a dough or crust that's mixed in with it. Or like an imitation type crust. It's a shortening flavor. Hey. This is, um... I think those are little nuts in there. Maybe little chunks of pecan. Pecan, pecan. Same thing. Depends on where you're from. This is a menu guys are going to be fighting over. <laughs> trying to get trade and probably two regular other menus for no one way, of these two? things i can see it now and finish this too real quick he's I just inflating the mre pizza market take the jalapeno sky cheese high bread. right now he's manipulating Put the market this. i pizza. don't approve oh man that was perfect right there that was that was the way to go next time i get one of these mre pizzas i'm gonna take the cheese spread and put it on the pizza or at least half of it. Save the other half for those breadsticks. None of this is thirst provoking because I totally forgot about this. I didn't even need yeah, a drink. Yeah, that's not gonna quench anything though. Gotta get your protein. This ration, this is the well, this is seriously one of the best MREs ever made. And you know why? All the components are great. You're gonna wanna eat them all. And that's what the MRE is all about. You have to consume every component to get your nutrition. But if you don't have those components, you're missing out. So you have to eat the whole MRE. Menu 23, incredible. 23. This pizza was worth the wait. And it's finally happened. It's no longer a rumor. Clean the old palate with some MRE gum. That gum is a this. lot better when it's fresh. That's pretty good right there. A strong peppermint, but not too strong. The gum base itself is a little bit firm. When you chew into it, it's kind of tough. So this was the newest MRE, menu 23, pepperoni pizza slice. I want to thank Mike and his family and Chappie from Battlebox for making this happen. Also want to give a shout out to Chris, the staff, and the kids at Camp Barnabas. It's a special needs camp that helps people out with all kinds of disabilities. And Chris hit me up. He asked me if I could give Camp Barnabas a shout out. Those are amazing people. But um, again, thanks to Mike and his family for making this one happen. This was an amazing experience. I'm glad I could share this with everybody. This is Steve1989. I hope you like the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Well. Or old. Alright, cool. Yeah, I take back what I said earlier. See ya. He's not tired of anything. If anything, he's excited for the future. What is this one? 
1955 FPA food packet, individual C ration, vintage MRA review, meal ready to eat tasting test. I can't click. No, I'm not clicking the Amazon link. Are you insane? Genuine military inspection pepperoni. I think we're okay. Thank you. Thank you, though. This is the food packet of salt individual. Grandpa, it's a lightweight. Amu, I've been going through all his videos lately. I'm easy not familiar. To eat in a pretty quick period of time, a little food packet, providing about eight or nine hundred calories to an individual soldier during the first few days. Of 1955 or amphibious assault, or on patrol or sentry type scenarios. This thing was produced from 1948 to 1956. There were eight menus, oh, 24 this is gonna be fun. It was also used as a supplemental snack to the ration combat individual. This is the ration combat individual, the final generation of the 24 hour sea ration, and the more common thing eaten out in the front lines opposed to that food packed individual salt. But this thing is heavy and bulky, and on those initial amphibious or airborne landings, this might be a bit too much. Holy fuck. The very last of its kind, December 1958, final production run out of Natural Storage Company Incorporated. He was struggling. Beautiful. Six come to a case, and a case weighs 38 pounds. 38 pounds. Snip the is this the case? This, this is the case, right? This is 38 and pounds. You could untwist it. It's not fun. Let's look at this. No, no one's going to do that, Steve. Cut the wire. Written on the side. Artillery coordinates for infantry to base command. Heck, this could have been a ration once it was set to limit its standard history, after this final history production. History in this box. And during production of the... Say you later, bitch! ...during 59, 1960. Well, thing is, something like this could have been getting used for like between three to six years after at least maybe even ten all right let's give it a look rude little funk is he Tom? you little rude fuck <laughs> why you have to be so rude before we open this one more thing Notice, this product's been held under controlled temperature and humidity conditions and should not be considered overage because of date of pack. <laughs> Further refrigeration is not... That's a guarantee blocked. right there. It means this is going to be perfectly fine. Don't worry about the date. Wow. <laughs> this is why no one trusts the government. Shit like that. Oh man. Man. Oh man. I think it's gonna be a tough deal. We'll see. The middle one looks okay. Ooh la la. Crunchy for sure. It's... It smells like frogs and crawfish. Ooh, look at this. I don't know what either of those smell like. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> oh man, what is that? Did bugs get in this? Something's in it. No way. Something got into it, all right? Yeah. But it's fine, don't worry about the date. Ooh. All right, the bottom layer almost looks a little bit better. It really does. I think the middle will be fine. Maybe the right one there. Yeah, you're gonna get at least one out of this. Can at least are they all the same? I think. Yeah, you can you can uh, Frankenstein them together and get a whole whole uh, uh, ration here for them. Oh, what the kind of insect is that? It's alive. It's alive. In there. Some red bug. Little critter. All right. 
That's uh, fine. Just let it live in your house now. It smells so good. Boy, that one's got a little weight considering how pretty gnarly it is and visuals and falling apart and even seems like it might have some bug damage. I you're be, this one looks pretty too, safe. Because this is in, these are in boxes. This it's one, not a la carte anymore yeah. like World War II or that E-ration. Okay. 1946. These are in their own boxes. So when it's dark out, raining, or if you're getting shot at, you can grab these out of your case and actually know you got a full day's food and not like whatever it is you're going to end up with when you are Some daily dumps. grabbing them out of a case. Like Today that. was a good one, too. I mean, that right there, it's cool. and Like, ooh, you know, one can at a time. But, Wait. man, you don't even know what you're grabbing. Are they B units? Are they M units? You know, the meat and beans or whatever it is, beef stew. And of course, there's the K ration of World War II. And yeah, these are in individual boxes. They were super handy and ahead of their time. Like, seriously, five years ahead of its time in, in that regard. And an actual meal that is in its own box with toilet paper and matches. Nothing like that was ever even made before. And the fact that this uses barely any metal. A little four ounce can and a key. It was made out of metal to open it. That's all. You know, these things were actually more expensive to produce than these. The sea rations. These, even though they used a lot of metal and were bulky, a little bit more food too. Field ration D. Just cardboard and cellophane with some cheap chocolate oat flour, raw oat flour added so it doesn't melt as easily and it's a little more sustaining. And this derives from the U.S. Army emergency ration of World War I and pre-World War I. This thing was too bulky and difficult to produce and pretty much over-engineered. It was way too much of an emergency ration. You really, like, didn't need that much to replace, like, really nothing more than a missed meal on average before you'd get a C ration. But these are too bulky and they use too much metal. And that's when these came in, and they're boxed, and quick and easy to eat and pack away, because the way they're shaped, you can put them in your cargo pocket, they're super handy, and they're using less metal. That's like the huge thing. And you got cigarettes and matches and, you know, All right. toilet paper in there. That's the origin of this. We're lingering. The ration combat. We're lingering, this, Steve. This was Open your it. standard combat ration used by soldiers, individual soldiers when no hot meals were available in the front lines. It's a full day's food that has 3,600 calories, but it's heavy. It's bulky. This thing weighs six and a half pounds. That was too much. Too much lower times it opened thing. up and pilfered the fruit, bread, or B units and cigarettes. Parts of the ration no get puffs. eaten and other stuff set aside out of no, I'm not fatigue. Puffed. The food packet of salt was pretty much just a lightweight snack, on the go snack containing eight or nine hundred calories and it weighs a pound. He does eat some of it. He fucking better eat some of it. Here's the accessory packet. I think it's pretty extensive. Yeah, there you go. Cigarettes, matches, toilet paper, smoke. candy, chewing gum, coffee, sugar, can opener, water purification tablets. You can got your spoon in there, into the bottom layer. A couple of cans. Not bad. Oh, I wonder what this was. What that one's that literally open. Gosh, I can't really read that. I think it was hamburgers. Oh, sure. canned hamburger. Menu you five. Get to see it. Ugh. Don't touch I'll it. Open it from the bottom. Don't yeah. touch. It's not too bad. Do we have a year on this? July 1955. You really will see like 50 K rations for every one of these. This thing is so uncommon. It's seriously one of the neatest little rations. It's pretty much like a K ration. It's so similar. It's more metal than a K ration. Built a lot tougher. You know, this is a bilaminated package, like a metal and craft paper like a foil and craft paper and so it could be just two layers but still
Oh, that's actually the spoon. Beautiful. Um, that is just they had perfect. the technology for a clear spoon. Nineteen out of fifty four. Then wow. the TP, which looks pretty good. A little bit brown. That's not cool. Oh, sorry. Oh, let's smell this. Whoa, that's like, it totally smells like, huh. That just really does have the smell of an old room. Just an old room with an old desk and paper. Like a library with old old books and aged paper, you know, it's just a beautiful, fresh aged paper smell. Like paper and grain. Just grab an old book and when you open it up and, and bury your nose in there and you know when the paper's kind of yellow, that's what this smells like. It's awesome. It's like really nostalgic and comforting. Granulated sugar six grams net. Packed by Van Brood Milling Company out of Clinton, Massachusetts. Hey! Nice never heard bag. of it. A cellophane bag that's, oh, sorry, pretty tough. And you know, what's great about this thing, it's going to keep your cigarettes and anything you opened up nice and dry when you're on an amphibious assault. Or like, if it's raining out, you just para dropped down, you know, you parachuted down and you're on the ground and it's some like really crazy windy rain and you open up a food packet under a tree and or maybe in a foxhole it's wet and you don't want your toilet paper to get wet and you you just start throwing it in here after you open this up oh this smells amazing there's a slight perfume smell like perfume old oak newspaper and came up with one Nice! Call for Philip Morris. I haven't seen these in a while. America's finest cigarette. Call for Philip Morris. Pure soluble coffee. What does that mean? It's maybe a little bit hardened up. Is there going to be just one or are there two? There are two. And they're both hardened up. Oh, God. That's okay. Assorted sherbets. Delicious candy. Sherbets? And it's not liquefied do you have any idea like how it's got how the pole thing too that pop is. them open how absolutely insane it is that stuff like this is still around Should, look at the golden letters sugar corn syrup citric acid true and artificial flavor certified, certified color. don't eat the red don't eat the red look at that. beach nut spearmint beachies yeah me too yj i was thinking that earlier i'm telling you just that one old thing. Gum, the old shit. Just, just one thing in the Can't world. Eat it. These matches are uh, designed especially for damp climates, but they perfect will not for his foxhole in the situation that he made after up. long exposure, several weeks, to very damp air. Well, there's the P38. Look at that. The beast it's just unraveled out of this wrapper. Those wrappers. Beast of a can opener right there. Old, another Van Brood sugar. JW Speaker. Nice. Look at that. 1951 patent number. JW Speakers are really good. Always tough and kind of hard to open. Just a tiny bit heavier than a K ration. Not bad. All right, let's get set on your tray. Nice. Okay, let's first start off by checking out some coffee even with the billion i'd be a little worried about that middle can like i don't i don't know if it's worth it looks like this one kind of leaked oh man i don't like the looks of it that looks fine but what is that supposed to be by the way it's pretty sharp i like is that the coffee that's coffee oh god let's see what i can do well, you know, good old pure soluble coffee. That is the same thing as coffee instant. It's not soluble coffee blend or anything like that. So, coffee instant. From like, maybe five years newer. No deal. It's actually so common. I'm just going to tear it. Oh, yeah. Stunt coffee. When in doubt. 
That's bitch coffee right there. That's what I would call it. You bitching out, Steve. There we go. Gotta have coffee. I mean, I rarely bring in a outside component, but in that case, it is perfectly acceptable. I'm gonna disagree. You know what? This right here is really hard for me to, like, it's He's difficult obsessed. to bring myself to open this. He's obsessed with this toilet paper. I can't. I can't do it. You can't do it. You almost dunked it. It didn't fly in the coffee. Yeah. Be careful. Whoa. Okay. That car Consolidated Biscuit Company. Oh, these, these are going to be Chicago, good. Chicago, Illinois. JB Carr. The people that cook this. That made those crackers have been dead for a very long time. Really makes you think. Nice little hiss. Not bad. Wonder if, like, in a hundred years, Give anyone's going to come across me. anything. Man, that doesn't anything that good. I've done. You ever wonder that? I might have hundred years. Really What's it gonna be? Snacks. This doesn't look too swift. Is that just chocolate on the inside, or is that like rust and stuff? I don't know what the fuck that is at like, all, Steve. To be honest mm, with you. Whoa, yeah, it's just chocolate. <laughs> this is gonna be fine. It smells nice. It's just like an inviting milk chocolate. I was wondering if it was rust or chocolate. There's like no moisture content. Maybe the digital stuff won't be cookie. gone though. Maybe the digital stuff it's will always be here. Incredible. This thing was totally built to last like forever. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Yeah, that's that fine. Is How shiny the lid is. Chip You're good. And it smells very inviting. It is. That out. The three crackers. Well, so you can maybe put it on a CD, but CDs deteriorate in, in certain climates, so it's probably not the best. One of the best Look solid that cookie. There's like storage medium would be best. Usually, there's no way to watch your content. They judge you just on the titles of your mods and clips. <laughs> that just smells like it's picked up, you know, an odor of like um, an enriched bleached wheat flour and like the baked crackers i mean that's what it smells like it smells like it picked up smell Wait, of what that the fuck are all those all those like the same an, an scent of these and exactly yeah and these are just both are dusted no, i was, guess it was cookies totally and crackers dusted up. like the brim with bha and bht preservatives or like antioxidants that'll keep the fats from going rancid let's check out the ass assorted sherbets that coffee's still hot still cold steaming. plated disc yes Instead of pulling this, oh man, I want to pull that. Pull it. It actually looks like more fun. Pull it. Maybe I should just peel it here. Are you not going to pull the pull string? What is wrong with this guy? Let's see what I can do from there. Is Oh, man. It just had to happen, didn't it? Exactly. Right. This is actually upsetting. No big deal. You need to pull it. Okay. That Why wouldn't really you pull work? it? Why wouldn't he pull it? Jeez, pull it. What's happening? Oh, okay. All right. We'll just I don't care. This. I don't care what he wants. I want him to pull it. Oh. Oh. That doesn't look good. This looks like a bad work situation. Out too well. All right. I think he did it wrong. Oh, sherbets. Oh yeah. They oh. have. Do they have uh -oh. any original color? Left? All black. I wonder. Foil. And like a parchment paper. There's nothing there. Probably stuck to it like something serious, but man, oh, hey, you can color. see the colors. Look at that. Those look good. I see a lemon. Ooh, mm. It smells like some paper and cardboard. Man, it doesn't look too great. I just cut a slice off. Eh, what did cut I a slice off. And again, this is pretty cool, actually. I mean, really. Oh, that's not so bad. There's like lime and orange, and there's nothing really wrong with it. Just oxidized food coloring and, you know, just 
If I was, right, well, you're out of your mind, down, Wilson. Like, All right, I don't think you would. Absorb a little bit of moisture. Yeah, I'm gonna drink a little coffee. I don't think you would. Nice and smooth. Can't go wrong with that old school spray <laughs> drum. Well, he was not. Like, Come like, on. Like when it was pure soluble coffee, as the agglomeration process was changed, and you know this coffee was treated with dextrins, you know a fifty-fifty split on the actual composition for the longest time. Uh, otherwise, it just wouldn't mix right. The coffee molecule, the spray dried molecule was too small and it had to get mixed with something. And then the process of it, these spray dried molecules, there was no need <laughs> after the process. You think this stream goes to outer space though? A larger I guess granule. maybe if it's going no through uh, satellites at some point, it must. Like it would never mix right like by itself. Maybe we no are in space. The like dextrins to mix. This is pretty cool. Oh, oh that's cool. Right. They may not, they're probably not judging me right now, Peachy, but I mean, a couple hundred years. You can practically smell. I could like be the ambassador and it's for also humanity. A very canned smelling. There's a metallic smell to it for sure. And it's not bad. It's totally normal. I'm sure it smelled very canned yeah but the simulation like thing it's like where do you draw the line if it is a simulation there's no way to get out of it so we might as well accept the reality that we're presented with <laughs> I felt like it all broke out of my hand yeah. they watch it while like eating dinner bad odors like this is a simulation it's sad well if this is a simulation i'm the only real person here such All right. i know that content. that's the only thing i really know in its favor right the there. rest of yous who the fuck knows no i'm not the fake i'm the real one i'm the only real one you guys it, this is <laughs> Chocolate chip oatmeal. It's 100% my simulation. If it's anyone's simulation, all right. He's, I think he, he, if anything, he will smoke one of the sinks. You're the one on the computer. You think I'm running it? I'm not running it. <laughs> the amount of salt. I couldn't come up with this shit. Dude, I would buy cookies like this. It's like, it's salty. It's a sweet and salty chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, yeah it shouldn't be salty yeah. though. He's actually eating that cookie. I thought that was gonna be the one he tossed. I thought he was gonna eat underneath those. Oh, coffee's perfect drinking temperature. My apologies for not using the dried out coffee. It's not fully authentic. It was True. an outside component. Yep. But I needed coffee that was reliable. You know. Anyway. Disgusting. You think I'm Truman? Yeah. It's so dry. That right. could be it. I'm with Zetum. No chance the real Dimitri would be strong. <laughs> really well. That was an awesome cookie. What a great recipe and design. Canning design and everything. I mean. The noises the moon landings heard on the far side awesome. of the moon are believed to be our own Earth signals that have bounced back. I can't link. I'm on the TV. I'm shaking. That's exactly it's something a, a simulation person kind of would say, Rob. Okay. I mean, there's quite a bit of shortening. That's interesting because I haven't heard that. Excellent oatmeal crunch. And little bits of oatmeal residual. I went to Walmart the other day. They got like 70 awesome. inch TVs for like 600 TV something dollars. What is happening? The chocolate chips are really dry. They were huge. They're like totally. And they're shit. No, they're Vizios. I think they always Vizios are good. Moisture content. Okay. I've had Vizios for quite some time. It's really delicious. And they are good TVs. In there and then like margarine. And then All my TVs are Vizios. BHT preservative to keep it from going rancid. Got a I got a 3D TV. In the living room. 
that was like refurbished when I bought it. Wow. It's 1080. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the ones. I don't know what the ones. I, don't know what the ones yeah. I think they're 1080 in the store too. I'm not sure. I we were just walking by. I was just. They're huge boxes. I love that guy Spock in Battlestar Galactica. Oh, Is amazing. Yeah, it's I only watch salt. like I only stream right. on my TV. I mean, you'd be eating it with your main, I'm sure. It's the only thing I my TV gets used for. Not this one. It's the only thing my Being Xbox One gets used for. Salt main, that's ever edible, that's for sure. LGs were usually yeah. good. How do you feel about the phone reps in Walmart Target? Like that is pretty amazing. I was one of them. How do I feel about them? It's the low moisture. I hate them. Content. It's not like there's a can jam. Or anything else in there you know so they aren't they, terrible they, they can't do fine. anything there's nothing that can go well first of all that. not them personally like not the people personally are they terrible but there's literally no walmart tv rep i sold tvs all the time yeah i mean we worked in electronics with the phones so i was the i was the phone guy but when you're the phone guy you're also you know the electronics guy the photo guy Toys, you had to get bikes down, uh, sporting goods, uh, fishing licenses, cutting keys, um, hardware, mixing paint. That's uh, that's also what you did. Um, and then, the, you know, the jewelry department would come over and give you keys. And then you'd have to be in the jewelry and getting rings out. And you didn't know where the boxes were. You don't know where they keep the boxes because they're not in a good place. They're, they, and there's no, no way to easily find them, but they just bring the keys over there and then... You know, if they run out of carts and they don't have a cart pusher, you're going to have to go off of carts as well. And they're running low on cashiers. You can't have more than three people in the line. Actually, I didn't get called up from that often because I had to do everything else I listed. Do I still have the vest? I'll bet you in a hundred years there'll still be a few of these. Of course out. I do. Who knows? Flying up there, wear the vest, vest good. stream. Hmm. Flying up here, and you're testing the TikTok thing. It's a beautifully baked cracker. It's just so. It's not what framed like a jersey. It's in a closet. I felt like I had to keep it, and it wasn't. It was actually my older vest from. Because uh, when I left there, we didn't actually wear vests. We just wore blue shirts. There was a period of time at Walmart where you just had to wear blue or green. Disgusting. They say you can wear one of those and walk around in the back and no one will notice. This is true. It's, an, it's a really old vest. I don't think I have any open one of these, you know. You want to walk in the back of Walmart? That's so stupid. Let me tell you, it's dumb. And no one will notice. Selvik? Stay later, bitch! So neat. <laughs> really. Sorry, no was, matter what you thing. do, this guy always pulls you back with he his does. MRs. You know, it's, it's fun. Thank you, Selvik, for the 74 months. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat the one. Maybe two of them. Hopefully, uh, we'll see you soon. That's a strong flavor. Like a strong cherry. What? You dumb bitch. Interesting chew. It's not that bad. Granular chew from the breakdown. No, I haven't. I don't remember last time I put it on. Root candy. It was my it, it was really my red vest because I was a eight. customer oh, service beta. manager. I don't know. What Maybe a, I won't eat much man. more of that. I don't know. I think I need a smoke to really I build up. The Let me pause. Let me just pause for two seconds because I need. I'm all. I need to get something to drink. I can use a clipboard and a white hard hat. You can go anywhere. Okay, if you wore that, they would notice. They would definitely notice that. 74 months is longer than Cosby was in jail. You've had three drinks. Yeah, but I'm thirsty now. Okay, the first drink wasn't real. I'm out of Arnold Palmer. There's literally nothing that can travel faster than light. It's physics. True. That's why you need to 
change the shape of the universe. We've all seen it. Exactly. You have to bend space and time, which can be do. It can be done. You just fold it. And you stick a pen through it. The universe is expanding faster than the speed of light. Okay, we're getting into this. No, we're not. No, we're not. Now, for God's sakes! I need to get my vape too. It's in the living room. I'll be right back. Sit tight. I'll be right back. Ooh la la. Oh, Dimitri! Dimitri! Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh, jeez. Well. Well, it looks like it's just me and you, Skip. You want me to shoot you first, or you shoot me first? Slice his throat, you idiot. There was an explosion. Oh, okay. Well, right. I'm liking you a little better now. I'm definitely getting to sleep. Okay. All right, do whatever the hell you want. Hell out of here. here. Get the hell off me. Hey. Don't... Oh! You, oh! Hey! You bitch! Ah, what the fuck you want, huh? What fucking like piece of this shit? Huh? Help me, police! Yeah, right. Run away, old... Help me! <laughs> Help me! I went onto the corner on the outside of the grocery store, and where there's like cars that come in to the like, where to, you know, driveway for a parking lot um uh, there was a corner that everyone who comes in can see i just i just just started doing this in the, in the costume like right on the corner and everyone coming in was just like smiling and laughing and i made my day and i was really happy that i could make a joker <laughs> Enjoy that gift, but... yeah just stand there until I love how he turns around <laughs> enticingly. That's what does it really. There we go. <laughs> Just so we can run. What is that? What is, what is that? What does that uh, kicker buff do? Kicker, you're top. Hello, Base Drama, you're on the air. Wait, did he? No, he didn't. What are we drinking? This is Arnold Palmer. I'll find him first. This is pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, we'll cut off base drum. No vest. I didn't get the vest. I... Cracker. It's just so loving moisture content. Nice little charred bit at the corner. I'll be right back. Well, I'm not leaving. I'm right here. Just where did I put the thing? I'm not going anywhere lawful. I'm right here. Hello. Thank you for the 53 months. Uh, where are you going? Did Sovic confirm for tomorrow, Fab? Did I, I didn't see. Did we get a confirmation? He was worried about the times. Don't leave. I'm right here, okay? Okay. So neat. <laughs> really, not this thing. Oh. Let's see if this one ain't good. Oh. It's about <laughs> what I was gonna get. I'm just gonna eat the one, maybe two of them. Why does it taste weird? Oh. That's a strong flavor. <laughs> what a, like a strong it's cherry. Like burning. What a, what a interesting beer, chew. It's not that bad. Granular chew from the breakdown. Outrageous old root candy. It has really... It's aged. We'll call it that. I don't know. Maybe I won't eat much more of that. I don't know. I think I need a smoke to really build up the courage to open up that old can of rusted out mysterious meat. Yeah, Johnny Philip Morris. Or Johnny Roventini. 
made in the USA no, by I feel like something's wrong. Company, LTD Incorporated, established over a hundred years. My, I feel like I'm inhaling like beautiful back. Made plastic. from blender, world's finest tobaccos. These always turn up. Most hits feel like burning. I know, but this is different than it normally never feels. Never seen them in the sixties. Taste. A light smell of cedar. It was vaping. Battery acid, you'll be fine. Did you just see Moon is a hardcore drug dealer now selling weed at the beach today? Hashtag meta. <laughs> That's so nice. I, I didn't see that today. M and C. Philip Morris Limited Special Blend. <laughs> Beautiful. He's gonna love these. Oh yeah. Look how excited this he is. Is <sighs> like near perfect. Ooh la la. These they have no damage. They're a little bit dry, I can tell. Like from from the squeeze of them, they're a little dry. That is it. These are good cigarettes. I, I can tell right now from the smell. No ammonia, no like rotten old bruises and ammonia. Nothing like that. Not like, you know, geraniums that are snapped, like the flowers and has that peppery, like, you know, those red flowers and the chlorophyll and like. I was doing a lot of 20K. None of that. It is. Because I didn't want to hear it. Like honey and cedar. It hasn't really worked out for me though. Mild tobacco. Like a very mild, yes. It's like this. I'm running into something. No, I don't know what they're talking. I don't know. What, was this in GTA? I don't know. I'm not following. Cool. I don't know where I would I would get this information from. It's one of those things where it's kind of luck of the draw. And I've gotten pretty lucky with this stuff in the past. I mean, I really have. Especially, and ironically enough, with lucky strikes because I've come across some luckies lately that weren't too great. I'm telling you, I'm just telling you. Let's see if I can do this. Why are you mumbling? Can't hear. Not for nothing. Oh. Here. oh, great. Ooh. Jesus. That was cool. Oh, hey. Didn't do the dry pull. TTS for 30k dimmers. Firm pull. Like a firm pull. It was like no. Oh, that is flavor. There was no no flavor on the dry pull. Ooh, sorry. This guy, well, this guy makes smoking look like the coolest thing in the world. Oh, wow. It's got a flavor of it first. You want to inhale it right away. You want to get the flavor. Here's like a palate acquisition to like this whole thing. You can't just go in like with a big old heavy drag on that first one. The rest of the cigarette won't. Like you won't pick up the fine flavors and you need to get that. Thought he was going to go down right there. Jesus. Ooh la la. <laughs> it's tobacco at the end of the unfiltered there. It's smooth, a little bit dry. It's running a little fast. Running a little fast, but I got to say, for the flavor. That's smooth. Marijuana cigarettes packed like it's they do things. Sweet. I don't know. And has like a nice. I don't know if that'll ever happen. Mild tobacco flavor. It's not overpowering. Do they? And that is great. Smooth. <laughs> All right, Wilson. Sleep tight, okay? Take the edge 
edge off, that's for sure. This is pre LRP. Peel box that's is what still food up, yes. Packet assault is food packet long range patrol. It auto that's it auto re, it auto re upped for the first time. Into. But then I didn't even have to think about it. It's not like quick and easy to eat like this thing is. In a lot of ways, this thing was more efficient. It's too bad they couldn't keep it around, but I guess between it and you know, well, between the MCI, you can buy pre, and the LRP, buy pre rolls. Yeah, this thing wasn't really needed anymore. And really, it that's was what Weeman usually service does before the LRP was ever even realized. I don't know if you should send drugs. I don't, just, I don't think it's a good idea. They are overpriced. Did you bump your vape levels on accident? Ashtray. Maybe. I've been just. I've been going full steam with it. Honestly, wow. that's probably why it's almost out. It's so smooth. I'm gonna go back and to the uh, stoned it's fruit. A wonderful cigarette. Stone. Well, not stoned fruit. Stone fruit. Philip Morris, that bellboy, the living trademark, Johnny Philip Morris, for forty years. He wasn't even a kid. He looked like a kid. He was just a little guy. He was just a little dude, and man, he had some. Your pre-stream hearts, but no, I was not. Say. He really did. He had a great job. For 40 years, a sealed job, living, trademarked. A nice B flat coming off. Some, a very bit. rarely There's lawful. She doesn't really have it. Like a non she has it right now. mascot to it. It's funny. You'd never see anything like that these days. Never would see a kid with cigarettes. Or what's supposed to be a kid. Like a I always bubble. feel like I'm doing it wrong. Wasn't a kid. And so I mess I it up. I don't know. I'm just not... Hip enough. Okay, so there were eight menus, three of each, 24 to a case for this thing. And maybe hitting the vape too much is why you're not streaming. That's what I was thinking. Thicker and easier to eat. I think this thing was then I realized efficient. I mean, it's like before the MCI. I don't it think it is so much like one, but it really isn't. It's not anything like an MCI, pretty much, because it's not a full balanced <laughs> meal. It's sure it doesn't snack, help. I'm not saying really I'm sure it doesn't help. Accessory pack. Excuse me. I mean, the sherbets love not, the label. Since the something should be there on the sixth. Oh, God. Is it, I, I hope I don't have to do too much work, Doug Grim, all right? I don't want to be filling up balloons. Young you'll ever have is, is it's like 10 bucks. Some Wrigley's uh, spearmint candy-coated chewing gum from the mid-30s. Candy-coated chewing gum from the mid-30s. What is it? It's flavorful. Mmm. Gets the saliva glands just going. I refilled the coffee. I I ch chugged that last sip of coffee instant, and then just got myself some coffee. This instant. piece of I shit with his coffee. Ses we don't care. Or ses somewhere from Canada, anyway. Call for Philip Morris. That guy ended up passing away in 1998. He was born in 1910. Oh my God. Johnny Philip Morris. So he lived a pretty fulfilling life, I would say. And he'll live on in the old artwork and advertisements. And <laughs> it's pretty neat. Snack ready to eat. That's what this is. Really. Okay, I could die on stream. I'm not sure. Beta. Oh, <laughs> beta man. This could be the end. K ration of the. This could be the last stream ever. That's all it is. It's just an awesome two and a half times menu variation. K ration. That was a fun run. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes it was okay. <laughs> I guess. Better here with those. That's, what a nice thing to say, Lawful. I'm good on yes. that. Thank you. All right, let's check out that meat. <laughs> Just because the metal rumble thing. Don't rants. need a map. The the one that the only kicks it. Like, Thank you oh, for the 37 months. I mean, sometimes I get got it in just in time. over the top, and I'll wear a mask and uh, this gloves is and <laughs> suit up and everything just to open a box. FPA. But. Other times I, visual, I won't. It just depends on how I'm feeling. And let's give this a look. Ooh. 
least he got the gloves out. Honestly, I would have forgiven him not Ooh, using the can like opener. a really satisfying crunch. Oh, yeah. You see, just in case, because it's a little flimsy. You know, flimsy, old, rusted metal. Ooh, that just, like... You could just glide it across, almost. It's so weak and thin. It turned to dust. No, he's not going to eat this. No way. He's, I, he's, I don't think he's even intending. He just wants to save it. Yeah. That's it's pretty good, actually. I oh, mean, it's just... It's I missed what he said. It's just a little food fossil. I missed what he said this was supposed to be. Oh. I bet if you cut it open, you could probably get an edible piece. Hamburger? Like, what was that back then? I wish I knew. You don't know it. That's almost like a K ration portion. This is still a little bit more. You could really dress that up though if it's that's hamburger. Protein you can put it on a from bun, farm animal, a little or cheese egg on top, or something. Which that's almost what that looks like. You could trick someone into eating that. At least biting down on it. Jeez, I think it's priest. Solid. He's gonna break he's that. Like rocks. That is like a he's gonna rock. break that, and he's gonna scrape his knuckles across it, and he's gonna get tetanus. I feel like I'm drilling to the center of Earth. He's gonna release things. He's releasing things. It's like those yeah, movies where, like, you don't want the people to go food. further, like aliens. Like like you don't want to. You don't want to touch that is the alien. Awesome. What was it? It's so mysterious. It's going to jump out of It could be spiced beef. Look at that. That's like all meat right there. Like a strip of meat here. Strip of a little chunk of meat there, there, and there. I think that's spiced beef. I think you're out of your fucking Almost mind. Almost certain of it. Might just save that. Put it in a drawer or something. I mean, I guess just kind of put it in like a junk drawer and just put old meat. You know, on the label. All right, let's check out those beachies. Beach nut packaging. If company. you ever see a label on a drawer in like that, get the York. hell out. Get the fuck out of there. You need a gum base, drawer? sugar, corn this syrup, starch, flavor, and softeners. This old meat from my sixty-year-old MRE, seventy-year-old. I don't. I'm a very old MRE. Believe it or not, I don't have a meat drawer. I nice, so incredible. I'm curious if the gum base by this point, like how much chickle, real chickle, is in it. I can literally bite right in my front teeth. It's incredibly sweet with a very mild spearmint flavor. The actual spearmint is quite mild. A really nice palate cleanser, but I'd almost like a bit more spearmint. Wrigley's from the mid-30s, they would use fresh pressed spearmint leaf juice. No joke. And it was like real pure chickle. Dark. This, gosh, it barely even looks like any real chickle is in it. Maybe just a little bit by this point. It has just some darkness, but it's held together so well too. My old chickle will turn to brittle if it doesn't have like softeners and stabilizers added. And by the 50s, a lot of that stuff really didn't have the chickle. It was like, I guess they didn't, they couldn't hire enough chickle arrows. Yeah, chickle farmers the last to one for tap tomorrow. out enough of that stuff to supply the demand. So there was a, at least with beech nut, we've gone too far. A we've gone way too far. Lower amount of actual chickle. I'm telling you, I'll show you soon. I've never, I never knew chickle was even a thing before It still before tastes today. great, but I mean, actually, I can't even complain. It's so fresh. It's just, mm, yeah, there's really not a lot of spearmint. Seems like there's a lot of softener. It's a really nice, soft chew. Not a lot of actual real chickle anymore. Still a really nice piece right, of we, we get it. Like natural we get it with the gum. gum that's perfectly I, I, chewable. It's, it's nice fine. Introduction we'll take your word. Camera. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it worked oh. out. So this is food packed assault. These things are a rare Gosh. treat. Pretty much what turns into the MCI and LRP. I mean, this has features of both. 
being close to a single meal, but it's just not quite fully balanced <laughs> nutritionally. So you can't say it's a full meal, oh. nor can its purpose be directed to fulfilling for a Is full a day's one, worth too? of balanced meals. No, because year. the soldier may be in such like serious combat or whatever it is that they don't have the time to sit and have a full meal. They got enough time to maybe eat two or three of these <laughs> I mean, in a day. I like I've heard the word and for like the first way few too many times before He's never there even needs mentioned to be some like better food, hot meals, or maybe some RCIs, fuller rations to fulfill the nutritional needs that are going to be happening within three days, a max of 10 before you get any real like serious issues. For something that needs to be light and not making a bunch of noise, this is not 100% with those cans. You can sock them up. Not bad. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. All right, cool. Now back See to the you. toilet paper. All right, all right, hold on, I'll, I'll get this queued up. Let me get this queued up in a second. We've never heard of Chickle Pea Mass. I've never heard of Chickle Pea Mass either. Has he ever wiped his ass with the TP and gave a review? He hasn't really done that, and I don't know why. That guy was enjoying it, though. Wrong one. All right. Why? All right. Hello, everyone. All right. Sorry, it's too loud. I'm sorry. There was nothing we could have done. I don't know. That video was quiet for some reason. I don't know why. And Mongo, unbelievable abandoned mega mansion. All right here. I need a pallet oh, and this is your that. daily dose of internet. <laughs> you didn't miss any nukes, believe it or not. Watch this. The family inside of this car was completely right safe and nobody was hurt. Stop. Like, we just got struck by lightning, Dad. It's crazy. They're all fine. Check this out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this one in slow motion. I hope this, this, this shouldn't ruin this clip, all right? <laughs> what was he, what was he doing? He was... It, Hitting golf balls across the street to his neighbor's house? I hope that guy got fucked. I don't know what the hell's going on here. It doesn't even make sense. This can't be real. Did he digitally add the ball in? Because that... Why are you recording it? Why are you doing it? Check the ball. Check the ball. I don't know. I don't understand. Just say. There it is. Yep. It's Alabama. I don't know what the point of that video would have been, though. I don't know. 
I have nothing against Alabama, all right? I love Alabama. I don't know if I love Alabama, but I know people from Alabama that I like. Lucky you didn't just go off the fucking mountain there. This person was trying to land a small plane in rough conditions. The rain made it difficult to see anything out the front, and the wind kept pushing the plane around. Yeah, see, this hey, shouldn't happen. If I can get this thing set down. I don't know why you would even try. Hey, boy. This guy's insane. Look at, I his, don't like that. Look at his artificial horizon. Look he at the He was still able horizon. to safely land the plane. Hell of a tailwind there. Wow, that was not good. But you're just a pretty princess. Come here. Oh my Let me show you why you can't measure the size of the sun based on taking a picture or video, unless you're using a proper filter. There's the sun. That's how big it is. That's crazy. Looks a lot bigger until you put a filter on it. This well, person was like just inches stream. away from getting hit by a car. I feel like I could be in one of these videos. I feel like I would react the same. Dead. Literally dead. Today's new. Three, two, one. Yeah, what the hell is wrong with these people? They're just never satisfied. Like, what more do you need? You're like, oh, you know, we got wingsuits and parachutes. Here's a time lapse what of a pumpkin growing. What if we build a giant slingshot and put it on top of a skyscraper? What's next? Shut up, Zeke. It's not, it's not good. This person likes to make desserts and then destroy them. I recorded a video of this sunset yesterday, and I thought it was really beautiful. Wow. Wow. That's the end of this video. I just wanted to say thank you so much for helping me reach 12 million subscribers on YouTube. That's absolutely amazing. Well, I always read your comments. It makes me happy knowing that I'm making you happy. Thanks That's again, like and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. That's mind-boggling. I think this guy is nuke. He's not nuke. It's not the same person. Don't be ridiculous. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to skip. I'm just going to skip to one of my own right now. All right. You guys are going to thank me, though. All right. The best channel I've ever found. You're welcome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch one that I haven't watched though. There's been a little, okay. You won't be Zetum, okay? You just have to watch, okay? There's two of them. So this is his last week. A portion.
There is a portion. I don't know when I found it. No, I don't think so. I think it just it just popped up on my feed. How does this help with the heat though? What are you doing? <laughs> Jesus. You should subscribe to Billy Speaks. Billy Billy's Pete's. It's a cat that communicates to its owner using buttons. I don't like the sound of that. I don't think otters make dams though. It's not a beaver. I think beavers are the only ones that, that do that, right? I think that's actually true. I think it knows like when you're in the shower. This seems fake. <laughs> They're like cats with hands. That's how I would describe them. Evil, hello. Thank you for the 10 months. Thank you. And they squeak too. <laughs> How does otter taste? I have no idea. both have like distinct personalities too they have um hannah is a fast eater and kataro is a slow eater so there's always a battle when they're eating you know their names shut up all right Shh. don't worry about it okay how many hours i don't know hands they can scratch they're really cats with with hands oh my god can you imagine Where do I get a little tiny toilet? <laughs> oh my god, what are these toys?
they actually like they can like open doors and stuff and they open bottles like twist off bottles it's crazy they're actually they seem pretty intelligent Decided. Lysander Harris. What the hell am I watching? It's otters. Listen, dingy star, right? Please. Who wouldn't watch this? Don't eat that, please. Sound like babies. <laughs> See, puts in the water to, to soften it up. Look at that. I'm not replacing Steve. Okay. I think I think they would live in harmony and be friends. Is what I think. Steve and the Otter would be best friends. They can barely eat dead raw fish. I don't think they'd eat the cat. Oh my fuck. See, they open bottles. Look at this little shit. They know we lefty Lucy. I don't get it. They don't even try to spin it right. Jesus. Sorry. They kind of left that out of the best moments of 2020. Take the ban, all right. If, if 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 we get it, I'll take it. I'll take it on the. I'll take it on the chin. We're gonna watch a grown man binge eat right after this. I don't know what is next. That's a hell of an idea, though. All right, this one's done. Done. 
done. This is so loud. This better be good. Independence Day! Everyone's just here for the whole day. Just, you know, drink day beers, seltzers, whatever it is, shotgun beers. Oh, gotta love Trump. He loves money. He's good with money. Everything about money. What, what's your favorite way to spend money? Favorite way to spend money? Beers? Beers, favorite way to spend money. Happy 4th of July. White Claw! I think we're about to do some body shots real quick with the White Truly. Claw? Fuck the brake fluid. We sitting fucking straight gas over here. And I got some gas for you later too, Andrew, for real. Okay, so I was going to bring my mask. It's in the car. My mask is in the car. I snorted salt, did tequila, <laughs> and I rubbed the limes in my eyes, and you bang your head on the fucking table. Hit me up on the fucking gram. Okay, salt, tequila, oh. hit your head on the table. Brick wall in front of us, we ain't slowing down. It's all gas, no brake. My thing with alcohol is no matter what I'm drinking, it could be top shot shelf tequila, it's gonna get me fucked up. Or I could drink $5 vodka, and that's gonna do the same exact effect. That'll cure Corona. It's an amazing day right here in Marquette, Michigan. <laughs> My name's Marty, but around here I go by Party Marty. This is broccoli, hey, and that's all I can really offer. <laughs> What are you most passionate about in life? Kids these uh, days. Cocaine, bad bitches, and alcohol. Cocaine, alcohol, and bad bitches? Way cooler than coronavirus. White Claw is life. It just speaks to the soul, you know? How do you feel? Don't listen to what the fuck she said. Cocaine, bad bitches, and alcohol is way cooler. Do you guys know each other? Yeah, this is one of my bad yeah, bitches I, I, from Marquette. I, I, I'm aware yeah, this where is where this is. Friends. Okay. What's your guys' favorite <laughs> memory together? I've ate her ass like 10 times. Oh my god, hold on! We're state champions 2019. 18. 18? State champions! What is that on your chest right there? The Upper Peninsula of Michigan. What does it mean oh to be from the Upper god. Peninsula of Michigan? What do you mean Great. the peninsula of in Michigan is tattooed really on your here chest? I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, but I came up here for the med plan program for both at the Northern Michigan University. Wayne, and I'll tell you from what I've met, these guys are so much more friendlier those? than Baltimore. You know, crab cakes and all that type of shit. I wish they had it up here, but it's still a good ass time coming up here. And I appreciate it. I wish our flag had more recognition, but they don't give it. They say our flag is terrible. Independence Day! I live across the street. My name is Tim Trito. This is the craziest this beach has ever been in my whole life, right in the midst of a pandemic. All these people come up and they're coming from all, people from Florida, people from all over the country, Texas. You watch, I think we're gonna see a spark in Marquette. I mean, you see where we are, we're not going down into that craziness. Does anyone actually know someone with it? Any of you guys know someone with coronavirus? I fucking don't. So it might be a lie. Detroit rappers don't get corona, dude, because they drink lean. Is that literally the cure? So I'm in a nursing major and all that shit. Coronavirus is 100% real, but who gives a fuck right now? That's Do you have it? Money. Fuck no. Do you know someone with it? There's motherfuckers that have it. I don't but know. But you don't know anyone with it. That's the thing. You can so have it might be a lie. A little bit of them have it, but we're going to get through it. We're, you know, a strong, united country. I don't really like America. It kind of sucks. Black Lives Matter. Look, I feel like I just know that his we've dad already artist, started so it. I know he got into art, and every time we go to a beach, he does this stuff. And, it's almost uh, over. I swear he's a right. chick magnet because of this. I am Evan Burke. Evan I didn't watch these. Chick I, don't, I haven't watched but all of his videos. Dude, he's all right. Do this shit. There was a lot of controversy idiot. going on and shit, but we're still American. You know what I mean? It's July 4th. Independence Day, and we all shit the same color at the end of the day. We're all equal. We're out here deep. We're gonna get Andrew a kill tonight. You understand me? He might have a little two for one, three for one. Who knows? Andrew got it going tonight. Shotgun truly to you, <laughs> Phil. Truly, <laughs> truly. He's got, We're gonna get you a kill, and it's gonna be unruly. Pocket. We're getting Andrew a kill. Fuck the bars. You just have to say who you are, Andrew. You'll get fucking kills tonight. Kills tonight, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me, Andrew? You really don't think you can get kills tonight? Seriously. There are birds waiting for you to hunt. Just gotta say I'm full send, bro. Is that a new? The is that how the kids talk like, these days too? I'm full send. Can I kill you? No. That's 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 no no no. That's some other shit. Like, I'm full send. I think Can that's I what they're you? getting no, at, BG. Say, I think hey, that's. Look. Hey, I'm Andrew. Let me get a fucking kill. Shocked or unshocked, bitch? How you want it? You got a dart or no? What's that mean? <laughs> I thought you got a fucking dart or no. I don't have a dart. Fuck. It's a dart. <laughs> No Jesus. It's God's country, the 906. That's God's area code. Everyone, 
please vote. If you don't vote, what are you doing? Exactly. Over 240,000 on TikTok. TV. I love TikTok. 240,000 on TikTok. Oh, there's a lot of issues going on in the world right now. Two over 200 fucking, how many? She got like over 240,000. 236,000 followers. Dire hair, Z-Tom. 240 followers. A z it feel? It it only makes it feels good because I can promote things that are actually going on in the world right now. What do you care about? I care about everything. I think about, I care about everything that's going on in the world right Top now. three issues. Top three issues. Well, definitely COVID is one of the biggest things right now. 240,000 on TikTok. If people have a social media following, they should be promoting what they think should be going on in the country. And I think right now everybody should be fighting for what should be going on. If you're fighting for the wrong reasons, then why fight? Because there's a lot of issues going on in the world right now. And if you're not fighting for the right reasons, then why be out here? Listen, how many people do you plan on saving today? <laughs> Someone usually drowns on 4th of July. But what about dying from the other thing? From like heat stroke? No, the other thing. What other thing? What's up? Out here from the 309. I'm Pat Riley. We're out here doing Marquette shit, getting wasted. Beep, 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 beep. Back it up. You know what I'm saying? 69. Hey. Hey. Dump trucks. The big booty bitches. Yeah. Yeah. I see that rock? I was just on that rock. I've been on that rock Thank before. You, you it's all about Polo. jumping off big rocks. Uh. That's sunscreen. Uh, to be honest, I don't think anything's <laughs> on anyone's mind out here. No one's really thinking about. Oh, uh, this the editing is you genius. Know, shit so. that's going on. I don't know. Shit. Anything else you want to say to the country? Uh, so, if I had a harmonica, I'd be ripping that shit, dude. I yeah. ripped the harmonica. Oh yeah. Anyone can. Oh, yes. no Appreciate you, Doug. Hell yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Look <laughs> we'll at him. They keep the camera on we'll him. <laughs> <laughs> they just know they know like you can keep the camera on them don't shut that shit off they are wayne's people yeah one guy had a michigan tattoo the peninsula all right this one's wholesome all right everyone this is wholesome all right Mega Mansions, it's wholesome. It's abandoned. Very wholesome. Save the turtles. Why is... What is this? Where is this? Give me some information. Go up and squat. Video was born. It's the music. I don't know what the hell is with the music, honestly. On this beautiful spring morning, I'm taking a look inside one of the most breathtaking abandoned locations I have ever been. Situated upon a serene lake in northern Canada, this 65,000 square foot mansion features two swimming pools, towering windows, an indoor boat garage, two elevators, an observation lighthouse, and so Why much Why is it abandoned? It is, is it just then too expensive? one of the largest abandoned residences <laughs> in the entire world. It, throw it. So join me as I find out how it got it. like this, explore the fascinating I ruins, buy this. and even analyze the true cost behind this unbelievable abandoned property. Oh my god. Jesus. What am I looking at? Wow. Is that a tongue? Is that a giant statue tongue? This is like a safety glass collapsing in on itself. Oh. oh my god, I've never seen that before. That makes sense too. It sounds like there's other people with me in here. It looked like a giant tongue had fallen into the window. Oh wow, so that that outer layer of glass was actually the other pane. This one's still intact. Wow, the pane was in here. This looks like the Shangri-La Toronto or something. There's actually pretty significant mold on the 
the boards around here. Lick it. More mold than I thought I was going to see, actually. Wow. Yeah, this place is a lot shittier than I thought it was going to be. Who's that? There's the people. As you probably guessed, this home is unlike any other. The mansion is split into two distinct sections. Essentially, it's two buildings split in half by the massive boulders underneath, connected by a glass bridge. The first is the residence of the owner, Mr. Grant, and that's what we'll be looking at first. A little later in the video, I'll explain why this is, but first, let's look inside the enormous it stretch this video out, didn't they? Wow, look at how the water has warped this wood. I think this was the master bedroom. This whole thing it's the ex was the master house? bedroom. I'm pretty sure. Is that true? <laughs> I bet the bed would go there. Hey, look. One of those S's. I look onto this. That's exactly what so, I would have graffitied in the, on that wall. This is the master bathroom. You can see Ruffins here for a the only thing, vanity. The only thing I'm really confident I could do. Surround. No, Kappa. And then, as you make your way over I'm here, you have what would most likely be the shower. With this master suite, you have this, like, little nook area with the glass. I, uh, this may be the coolest room I've ever seen in an abandoned building. Be nice to have this breakfast there, so dinner, have a little awesome. table, sit down. How many days know? in a row has he streamed now? Mitch, I did. This is one. Thank you, Battle Him, this for the 27 months. She spent, you know, Doc with $3 million mansion. She spent 700k to fix everything when she bought it and spends a metric ton of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. On a bar was it the bathroom? I don't know. The the view was nice. Is all I'm thinking. Right, let's descend. That's true, Skull. I look where your head's at. Oh, this God. is day two. It goes down another floor too. Oh my God. So. We're in the residence portion of the home. And to myself, I was thinking upstairs like, oh, you know what? For a mega mansion, the residence portion is actually quite modest. <laughs> uh, I take that back now. <laughs> What's also freaking me out is that these panels are just falling off. Yeah. From the immense amount of water damage that's down here. Maybe that was the kitchen. Yeah, maybe that's the kitchen. Maybe this is the formal dining room. Yeah, maybe this is the formal dining room. Look at these walls. This, this place is just kitchen, shit, though. You, I don't think there's any salvaging this. Island, potentially. At least I think. I don't know. Yeah, probably, because that's where the fridge the and the... I guess. Yeah, that would make sense. So, yeah, you're making... <laughs> you're making dinner, and you're sitting in your... huge dining room... And you just have this view. Well, are you making dinner or are you sitting? What's going on here? Let's see think food gets made. And then this would have been the enormous dining slash family. Is he trying to imply that the woman would be cooking? Is that what he's saying? Hall slash, I don't know, whatever other. I don't like where this is going. This is very political. Room you could assign to something like this. This is... Unbelievable. And again, I, I just can't believe how decayed everything is. Chicken wing times two hot dog and... Wow. And of course, once again, you have these mind-boggling huge windows. My mind is boggled by the graffiti, like, honestly. Yeah, pretty spectacular view. It's a hell of a Holy view. Crap, it's the only like house on this edge. lake. I guess infinity there's something down there. Pool, potentially? I don't, know if this, I don't know if this was a pool or not. This There's was like a like fountain. Water feature. Yeah, it was just a feature. But... Uh, yeah, the, a the koi bar. fish. A little bar going into the, the main living space. Oh, and here's that huge... 
courtyard. Looks like there might have been a chandelier oh, up there at the one point. Look at the wood paneling design on the top there. They only installed a few. So, this home was built by a man named Peter Grant. He was essentially a forestry tycoon with his company named Grant Forestry Products. The company was very successful and grew to be the number three producer of oriented strand board, a similar make to plywood. The company owned around six mills across North America Penny and employed over a thousand people. Grant himself was Canada's 87th wealthiest you want person me to try one with a more? net worth estimated at around $400 million in 2004. Since Grant was from around the area, he decided to build his dream home on a 43-acre lakefront plot of land he bought for $110,000 the same year. So he began construction on this astonishing mansion in 2005. But obviously, things didn't go to plan. Look at the rain out there. Look at that. Off in the distance. Yeah. And you go up to these glass panels, and it's huge. That's probably like 50 feet in the air. Here's the pool area. The output of that waterfall. The, the centerpiece fountain area in the front of the home actually just sprays on into this. This is a really cool pool, actually, because you have half of these rocks, which I don't know how many are natural. It's more of a grotto, uh, I would think. It's just a part of the pool. Uh, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. I truly am. It, is that like this a, building goes all the is way Is that like a there. special kitchen window there for, for like the, the pool? It's like the third or fourth floor. You got like your... This burgers and stuff so cooking enormous, in there. It has its own breakwater wall. <laughs> like I mentioned earlier, the home is split into two I've, sections. One I've I'm spent some now time is in some grottos, structure, okay? And one that had several spaces dedicated for living, but like also the work. Dimitri Grant hasn't been in a grotto. Not only for his <laughs> residence, but as a corporate office for his family run stupid. business. On the main floor and above in the second building, the space would be made up of offices for companies. I drink a lot more when I stream. As well though. as what was called the Grant Gallery. I don't know if I get more thirsty. I usually just fill the these halfway products. when I'm However, not streaming. However, the basement level would be dedicated for wellness, including it's an just, indoor pool. It's a habit, I think. It's a nice to drink more water. By 50 foot. Oh my god. Unconventional design, all poured cement. Absolutely. Wow. Custom steps, and you can see right where the plywood is there. They have um, like a sloping edge. Oh, okay, yeah, it keeps going down. For a deep end. I'm guessing it probably would have been about eight feet. See this edge? Right, here? yeah. Well, let me. This was all a spillover. I don't think I've ever seen a spillover in, an, in a residential pool before. Yeah, this was their filter here all along. Holy. So this is almost a commercial grade, like a yeah, this an is, industry this is what grade. You see in like a public pool. Right. Yeah. That this spillover uh, tank uh, filter. Never in my life I mean, have I seen that in a public that in pool. Hotels. How much do you think the pour for this would cost? This pour alone is probably two hundred fifty thousand dollars, <laughs> and then to complete this pool, you'd probably need another hundred thousand. It's cold. He is. He's the pool guy. Oh my God! Is that doubled up? I only saw the initial like five there. I didn't. I didn't see Holy. all those ones. Yeah, left. this is how you heat it. It's sixteen furnaces. Oh my god! Yeah, so I thought it was just like five or six pumps for the pool. This is ten. Oh, these are pumps for the pool. This is what you'd see at like a wave pool. This is probably all utilities. Like, look, they have. It's like a, it's like right. an engine room. Look what the, the hell is happening? Lines. You need a you need a guy down here yeah, at all really times. Is. Keeping yeah, this your is, house uh, running. Look, I mean, look at the, what is this? A water tank? You need a guy it's for hard this. To even comprehend how much is still left behind here. Since this building got so far in construction, many of the exterior and interior hey, fittings like a, were nearing completion. Utilities were even in a like working a state by the time of abandonment, yeah, and this room need an is a perfect to run example this. of it. What Brennan and I had thought were pumps for pools are actually are, high efficiency Jared, we already at we current did some market stealth value, camping already. These nearly brand new units go for around $4,000 each. Now that's just an example, but what about everything else? Well, I 
talk to engineering professors and industry experts to get an idea of how much all of these materials cost. I did some very generalized calculations based upon market value. I and need to know why sizing, this wasn't finished. And this is what I came I don't up with. No, I care about all this. Uh, I think there could be almost two million dollars worth of salvageable materials that could be pulled from the structure. That's not even factoring in the unbelievable amount of money that must have gone into pouring the foundation, roofing, architectural services, too much work, glass, hauling Imagine these the materials labor to costs. such You're a remote not, area, you, and so money. much more. The mansion very well if you could, could climb if you could into salvage the tens it without of cost, millions of dollars maybe. to build. I don't know what I I'm talking about. I would like to mention alongside these findings that I do recognize that right finding now. the location of this home is not difficult, but to respect this property if you do choose to visit. Please don't go here with the intent to vandalize or steal, and please be safe. Well, here's the pool, and then you have this astonishing window. And then right here is a jacuzzi. You were like a kid on Christmas Day. And you saw a <laughs> I just, as we were looking at this hot tub, we discovered that there are intact architectural plans, which is what I was looking for all along. I wonder if, like, he would have took clients because this this is right underneath the preview center. If he would have took clients, like, uh, down excuse me, here Brendan, for... it's the Grant Gallery. Oh, Thank you. So, I'm sorry. I wonder if he would have <laughs> took, took clients to the Grant Gallery <laughs> down here. So we got the swimming pool, and then behind that area was what was called the fitness area. The next to that, it was the Pilates. Oh, the weird pentagram room. They have that a was Pilates, a massage room. They have a Pilates room. Okay, this must have been like an employee. Oh, and, like... and that place too, where we saw all the wasted materials on there, that was the private spa. This place is, There's a uh, racketeer ball slash squash room. I don't too? know. Yeah, oh, that's I don't think he's told us yet. <laughs> Welcome to racquetball. Holy crap. I know. Oh my god! I honestly was shocked at how far back it goes and how high it is. There's like, this is like a bunker. I, uh, I, I doubt it comes across on video, but this is any... Well, go stand down there. I feel like I'm, I'm playing like a video game. I feel like this is a... Like 20 feet wide. It's a scum. Like it's one of those scum bunkers. So, uh, coming in from that area, this is classified as an office right here. And uh, I the assume because of its enormity room, office, and office, view and mail copy scale, room. I think this is Mr. Grant's office. This is a perfect example of how the glass works in this house, how separated the two panels are. You can see uh, someone tried and These fucking broke assholes through all that the way. try to break the windows. But some of the glass that they did break fell in between the two panels here. I feel like there would have to be a helipad. <laughs> Now that you mention it, you can feel how thick it is. Be kind of stupid if it didn't. Yeah. Sounds. Boring. I wouldn't want to live here. So these were all yeah. individual offices. Don't look at the walls. That uh, snaked around the the curvature of the building here, and this would have been for uh, well, what they called, and at least according to the architectural plans, again the Grant Gallery. It says right here. So right. Grant. Penis is drawn. Grant Forestry Products. Wrong with these people. Grant Forestry Products have taken a oh, huge financial hit during the global subscribing. recession of 2008. I would imagine that since their products Thank were you. so heavily used in much. construction, that when the economy collapsed, their contracts dried up. This coincided wasn't finished because this company got six hundred million dollars. their reach with building new facilities. This poor timing put the company in a tedious position. That's what he's explaining right now as I talk over it. They were in over six hundred million dollars worth of debt. Grant declared bankruptcy, and the company was liquidated soon after. What's interesting about that, however, is that the mansion was nearing completion at the time of bankruptcy. While there's not a ton of information on this, as Mr. Grant himself is a very private person, this is a it ridiculous could be house. Heard that the mansion was under the company's title and not his. So when creditors began seeking restitution, yeah, the home was also grouped into the company's liquidation. At this time, the mansion was around 70% complete. Wow, this is a grand room. Who could buy this after? It just seems ridiculous. A rogue tall guy, hello, thank you for the 44 these, uh, months. Tarps is like... like why would you do this? Down. Stone. This is, this and you is, could see that uh, 
you know, it's I'm, almost I'm just... like this since they started construction. Why? They covered these to, to lay down the floors, I assume, and the ceilings. Why? But this is literally all going to waste. This is one of the elevator shafts. It was yeah, going to waste to begin with. These um, these slits, you see them a lot with uh, with all of I the. I guess that's not an argument. <laughs> all the windows. These are air vents. So. I think it would cost too much <sighs> to, to take this stuff out. I don't think there'd be any profit in it. The mansion, and holy crap! Look at this. A ton of people came up here. Look at on the architectural plans. They call this the lighthouse. The whole time we were here, I had been wondering to myself of what the true cost of this property would be elsewhere. We're several hours north of any major city in Canada, with property value yeah, here it's... priced around $250 a square foot. In 2010, the mansion was put up for sale by the liquidators for $25 million. million. To buy it. So it was valued at around $384 a square foot, already around what? $100 more than the average home here. Now, to put that $25 Would you not just million buy a house price that's in perspective, complete and adjusting beautiful that price per square that? foot to a moderately Instead, sized city buy in that? southern Canada, that list price for this home could be over $70 million. Following the 2010 listing, the mansion was eventually sold to a I company that, named I Crown Capital <laughs> Corporation for an undisclosed price. Yet they did little to keep the property in good condition. According to a lawsuit filed against that company in 2019, the mansion's dehumidifiers were kept on to maintain the moisture levels inside. However, due to non-payment, utilities to oh, the structure no were disconnected in 2016, and obviously, <laughs> moisture has taken its toll in here. The owners were neglecting their mortgage, and the unpaid property taxes were climbing to over $140,000. What's even more astonishing is that in 2017, the city took control and brought it to a public tender auction with a starting bid of $152,700. Not a single person placed an offer. The formerly $25 it's gotta be like million 50 dollar home was now at auction for just $150,000. Sell it for 50 so bucks. So without any interest, That's the, the only building way. continued to sit abandoned. This, uh... This hallway is just lined with panels of huge glass. And yeah. And it actually... Oh my god, mud can, thank you. Jesus. Thank you so much. Ten gifted subs. Astonishing. You dumb bitch. That's so appropriate. That, that thank you so much, man. <laughs> Cross Thank you very this, much. Like, glass bridge. So one way to discern oh, you stuck from in, the Surly. office portion of the structure to the residence. Thank you so much for gifting that. I appreciate it. Is by the paneling. Um, I don't think any of the you know office this portions is? of the structure have these wood panels. I do know what that is. And honestly, I love them. I love these. How did you find? Great. How did you find that? I think most of the. I'm here for the subathon. I haven't noticed it until now, but. Well, we uh, we got all I the subs, and uh, we're like wrapping down. up here, Johnny. Thank you for I the sixty-five months. Tile. We're to the point point where you're taking uh, time away from the stream. Okay, so we're on the lowest level now of the home. So, what game are you playing tonight? Well, so you know, I was thinking about. Miss Two Scoops, thank you for the 21 months. Ooh, Brian, thank you. This little... Hello, like, Dimitri. Like... <laughs> you know what I have been playing? Like, doesn't it just There's an internal boat. Okay. This fucking, this fucking guy, Grant. This you Grant guy. Board, real piece right of work. Sue, so, uh, gifting Ori a sub. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Sue. Yeah, Thank you. probably about 40 feet. Look at how... I forgot what I was going to say. the lining of the roof. This luxurious wooden finish. It was good, too. Yeah, the saddest part is this was never used. I don't think. Yeah, because, no. like, these lights are still winterized. It was a good uh, the game you've been right. playing. Yes. Yeah. Maybe 
maybe I won't say it now that I've you know, it's it up really so weird much. In here. It's super cold in this room. And there's actually... I've been playing a little ice. bit of uh, Call to Arms. So just as reference, I saw uh, Eli today it's supposed to get to 75 degrees. So I figured I'd check it out. Yesterday it was 72, I think. Which is about uh, uh, 20... A, it's an okay time. 3 degrees, 24 degrees, 25 degrees it's hard. Celsius. Um, it's like an man, RTS. It's freezing. You can go first it's person if you want. In here. Should do a watch party of the new movie on Amazon. What? Repetitive at all? Uh, I haven't... Well, maybe. I haven't felt that. Yeah, it's a decent well, passage of time, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a service. Wow. This place is just too big. I feel like you, you, like you could fix it up, but it's just, at the end of the day, it's just Lord, too much. Look at the roof. It's too fucking much. Oh, Burn it down. Oh Sell the, the land. Water and let's just be done with significant. it. Let's fire some rockets out of this thing. That's what we should be doing. Oh my god, yeah. No, do you wonder why I didn't want to go down those stairs, Brennan? Wow. This is one of the most extraordinary abandoned places. It's called I've the ever Tomorrow seen. War. Just this room alone. These huge cement walls. The vents right here. My God. You could have done Look anything. Like, it's just too much. Like, what? I don't want to. Section of the roof right there. I feel like there'd be. There's rooms in this place where the guy would never wow. have even seen. There are very few abandoned places in the you world never would that I am to these rooms. speechless over. It's so Remarkable big. locations that are like so unbelievable in their current state that they don't even seem you real. I don't know. This no. is undoubtedly one it's of too them. much. An incredible piece of architecture rarely ever seen in an operating state, ICBM let alone the other day. one that's abandoned. Scam train. At the end of the day, standing in these unbelievable spaces, yeah, it is such a, yeah, exactly, exactly by the right. It's like waste. It's such a small town, it doesn't make From any sense. From what I hear, the current landowners are merely just getting by in their tax payments, preventing another land auction. But There's at the same time, taxes. they're almost doing nothing to maintain just the property. Don't pay the tax. And at this just... point, both natural decay You're and done. human vandalism have likely sealed the fate for this mansion. Hire I think some security economically, for the this property is too far gone. And the lack yeah. of any interest, even at $150,000, is a showcase thank you. of thank how you, Carl, big of a disaster bits. this was. The home was built specifically for Mr. Grant. He was certainly the wealthiest person in the area, but without his presence, what other millionaire wants to live that far away from any major city? Not to mention, the cost to repair everything would get well into the millions of dollars. Yes. Really, the future doesn't look good for this home, and once again, according to that lawsuit, it assumes that any purchaser of the land would at this point buy the property solely for the land and demolish the existing unfinished mansion. You have mansion. to. Today, Peter Grant is still alive and living on his own waterfront home and private golf course in a nearby town. Still and rich. While the He's doing okay, guys. I know we were worried. For his he is okay to the town, still. The lasting effects of the Grant enterprise Thank can God. be seen in the abandoned factory down the road, and now he's this still very living on a waterfront. Mansion. Don't this worry. This truly unprecedented <laughs> structure gives a surreal this look into serious? ruins is this from real our life? modern times. A direct result of how devastating the 2008 financial crisis was, and perhaps how even private homes can be too ostentatious I for their own. That. I, I, but I can't in the believe end, that. Just... it truly is unbelievable to see a record-breaking mansion this big, so close to being finished, just for the Everything how left there happen? to rot away. Thanks for You're watching. You're not everyone. rich if you went bankrupt. Safe. How are you still rich? Well, look at all this. Oh yeah. It's just all of. All of these stones that they use throughout the home. Oh my god. Both interior and exterior. We could load that up and sell it. Just Those are nice bricks. Just sitting here. My god. I think these are uh, sections of the roof, too. Well, these are concrete. Jesus. All the construction materials just strewn about. Imagine being one of the construction workers a bit working on this whole thing. They even left their little little trailer there. What an enormous waste. Yeah, this is disgusting. It's disgusting. It's oh, what a disgusting video business. this became. This Wasted. isn't wholesome. The company still exists too. <laughs>
Yeah, it's literally exactly like you, know, you would you could buy the land and you gotta blow this place to the ground and then you could I mean maybe a developer you could put in a few houses there and split it up I feel like that's what you have to do what did that I didn't read that what would, what did they say they have end credits they have end credits information God damn it this, this is like a Marvel movie Or was it just a thank you to the owner? What? What did you say at the end? Please don't visit this location to vandalize or steal. Be respectful to the current property owners and be safe. Ooh, no. Who cares? Who cares about them. What are they going to do? You're probably doing them a favor if you destroy it. You want to watch this trailer? Oh my god, level four hype train. Thank you guys. Wow. Wow. Sorry, I've been watching uh been watching Loki and Owen Wilson. He's okay. Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay, none of Oops. you are my child. Has anyone seen Miri? are fighting a war 30 years in the future. Is this a joke? Our enemy is not human. We need you to fight. You got drafted. I will be back. Why is this happening? What about the teacher's deferment and the veteran's deferment? If I don't go, they're going to draft you in my place. But if something does happen to me, you and Mary will be taken care of. If something happens to you, Dan, 70% of draftees do not return. Sometimes a man does what's best for his family, not himself. Move your shirt, please. Wait, what's this for? It's just a test. Oh, a seatbelt. Was it a driving test? No, you don't have jokes in the future? Ah! This device facilitates your jump to and from the future war. One minute to jump. Oh, here, buddy. Take that. You just look around like that. How are you so calm? Long story. Be yeah, ex-military? Yeah. Kind of a short story, I guess. Three, two, one. In 11 months time, all human beings in the future will be wiped from the face of the earth. Unless you help us. I was trying to save my daughter. If I gotta save the world to save her, then I'm gonna do it. This is the end. The human species will disappear from the face of the Earth. We are literally living on borrowed time. There's still a chance that we can stop this war from ever happening. So we gotta fight. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just me. I have no idea what this is about. There's a lot going on in that trailer. either I don't know not supposed to be good it's like dog shit to you There was time travel in that too. Oh my god, I've almost watched all of these. Dark on Netflix. You can watch Invincible. Slam some edibles. Movie's good. <laughs> Did you even watch that trailer? I watched it. Yeah. Chris uh, Pratt was in it. And, uh, 
And, uh, what's his name? J. Jonah Jameson. What the hell is his real name? I forget his real name. Billy Speaks. Jackie Chan. Steven Seagal. This is what I want to watch. No, I've got, I didn't want to watch this. I want to see, I want to see how this goes over. I'm curious. This is more of a... I want to see how this goes over. Hmm. I think I need more games to snark at. Tough. Yeah, let's go I am, thrifting. I am, okay. I am, all right, I got it. I got it. I'm fine, though. First up is a Goodwill made of bricks. Inside, I headed straight to the media section and found this Nickelodeon Team Rocket Rescue game for the PS1, though I already own Weemoon it. Weemoon and I have been watching this, and, uh... We're, like, I don't know, we're, like, trying to, like... So never analyze, mind. And over in the DVDs, analyze him I happen as to well. find a copy of The Elder Scrolls Morrowind for the Xbox. One of my favorite RPGs ever, and I've never played this version. Not much in the LPs, just some fantastic hair. Checking out the board games, because I always do, and I found a game with quite an agenda behind it. Anti-Monopoly, the wow. Bust the Trust game. Apparently it's a board game based around the idea of the Sherman Antitrust Law. Sounds exhilarating? Enough of that goodwill, on to another place, the Rescue Mission Thrift Store. Don't go here very often, but you know, this today there the was some interesting we stuff lying shopping. around the electronics. Like this keyboard I here, this is a trackball keyboard. Though. It's an AT and PS2 compatible keyboard for IBM compatible oh. PCs, and it includes a built-in trackball. Very Replacing tempting, but for 10 bucks keys. I passed. No. Several amusing keyboards in here. Check out this thing. This is a flexible, full-sized keyboard. Uh, it appears to be made of silicone, or something rubbery and very, very flexible. Does it a work? A couple Walkman ripoffs here by Panasonic and some other company that I couldn't tell. And hey, another keyboard that caught my eye. Uh, oh. It's small. I like keyboards without numb pads. And then I remember that I like numb pads, so never mind. And over in the toys, there was a little bit that of childhood nostalgia right once there. again. This is a Radio Shack Constellation Finder. Really captured my imagination as a young lad. It's just a little plastic thing with holes in it and a light in the middle, but it would project the constellations on your ceiling. Mm. I ran across this film canister looking thing, the Magical Mystery Trip. I need to go back and see if this thing is still there. I passed on it at the time because I didn't know what it was. It just had a cool yeah, package. Apparently it's something related to videos. behind the scenes stuff of the Beatles and maybe worth a little bit. And it's just cool. Anyway. I did get a, there are also several a wooden Mad box Geo magazines uh, from the 60s to the 80s in here, including this iconic and, uh, one with the girl with the crazy eyes. Yeah, I remember the Not one, yeah. these, So I passed on them as well. And oh man, just sitting on the sidewalk, I found Earthbound. Ha 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 ha. It was actually a paper bag full of hangers. On to another Goodwill, and wow, before I got inside, I happened to notice that there was some kind of a fundraiser going on out front. Baked uh, goods and cosmetics good and flowers and Real stuff. Good eye. I looked for any floppy Avon. disk arrangements and could not find any. Inside of the Goodwill, because that's Just where I was headed anyway. Ones. And hey, the Holy Bible, and holy crap, oh, this thing shit. is huge! Made of friggin' wood! It opens up, and apparently it's some kind of a thing to help you learn the books of the Bible, and uh, oh Well, put all this back inside of there, dang it. Under the back of the store, because that's where everything is now, apparently. Over in last, the electronics, there was a fine the selection of nothing. And the media is now in this awkward, ugly bookcase thing. And yeah, I'm sure they just wanted to make use of this piece of furniture, but it makes picking through everything it really an is. absolute pain. You, you gotta stick your head up too. underneath there and flip all these things Tell around this, just this, to uh, see what's in there. This is number it's, 10, it's just, so probably like five uh, years. I, uh, uh, but anyway, there's some cool stuff in here. A copy of Death Rally, which I already nope. have. Really cool game, though. Seven years. A copy of Normality, which I already have. Kitsune really Commander, thank game, you for though. the A copy of Wheel of Fortune for the PS1. Oh God, I'm sure, I'll get it. Mid-90s Vanna White. And a PC game, Pokemon Masters Arena. Never heard of this one. I figured, hey, why not grab it simply for the fact that I don't have it, and I've never heard of any Pokemon games on PC. 
In the wire containers full of secondhand soap and shampoo, I found <sighs> this, this Star Trek solid brass pen with oh, refillable shit. black ink. Apparently it's got a lifetime warranty. And this statement on the back. You have acquired an exceptional creation, off, certain dollar. to become a valued fake. collector's item. I made this, I made this right claim, here. It's and I'm, authentic, I'm, I'm, so I'm ready to go I guess I have to it. believe them. On the way out, I happened to notice this he over in the housewares. He's a cool little statue, but what happened to her arms? To oh, show disturbing. us and bring this propaganda there we go. That's nonsense. That's much better. To the and public. since it was next door, I figured I would head inside of the Dollar General. Since y'all seemed intrigued by my visiting roses a couple episodes back, you never find now, any of this stuff. As far as chain retail stores yeah, in works. this region go, from top to bottom, you've probably Except got I'm never Target, going back to that good one, Walmart, so it doesn't matter, Big Lots, right? Roses, then Dollar General, and below so, that, you've got like Dollar like Tree and happened. random friggin' stores that I don't even have a name and they're just stuck in a hole somewhere. Experience. So this is very similar to Roses, but it just doesn't oh, have a big clothing or outdoor furniture section. You do find a lot of really cheap tat. And several toys and action, action figures, figures to rival Rose's man's quality. Yes, the absolute finest in toys no, from China with possible lead paint included. Soon. Moving right along to my favorite Goodwill, and hey, it's time for the construction update. It looks like they're adding another parking lot, and thank goodness because parking here sucks right now. And there's a temporary walkway made out of wood. It sucks. While they continue to dig up the surrounding area. Inside has changed around a little bit as well. The registers are over against the window over there now. Still this plastic wall covering up the construction it's over there. I can't wait to go and explore that part of the store whenever me. it's done. But yeah, over in the media, we got quite a few Wii games. Big Brain, Academy, We Degree, Monopoly, Streets, as well as the My Sims Collection, Speed Racer, the video game, and Michael Jackson, the experience. Three bucks each and complete, why not? Also, I came across because the Godfather, there's literally no reason the game to buy some of those. PS2, All of as those. well as Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Collection. It's got both games, complete three bucks for the PC. There's no way I'm now passing He does, this. uh, he has and a copy of Dynasty series Warriors 4. Thrifting. Cool to see, but I already have he a copy. He does everything. He's got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Ancient he Aliens. Uh, you just gotta make things. the proper gesture whenever you come across a copy of this gem found a Halo Warthog Mega Blocks set for way too much frickin' money, Thank at least from a Goodwill. Scrounging through the electronics, this really stuck out. I used to sell these when I worked at Target. This is one of those all-in-one record players. Even though I own other record players, so I would new. like to have one of these but passed on it because for $25, I would rather have something with proper outputs on the back instead of just built-in speakers. Hey, what the hell? Tiger Electronic Football! but it didn't have the battery thingy on the back, and I don't know if it works, and I'd rather have baseball or something. I don't know. I just passed on it, but I, oh, I shouldn't have. Dang it. Oh, no, you should just have. Just underneath that, an Xbox 360 console for $20. Yeah. And being from this era of 360s, red you ring. never know if it's going to work. It's red ring But still, it's hell. pretty crazy to already see 360s just tossed in that here for that kind of price, too. Checking out the board games because PC games, and hey, here's one right here. This is the Real Deal Mega Pack. It comes with three of the Real Deal games, including Nichols and More, one of my favorites. And yes, that means I have played quite a few of these. I wanted it, I got it, and I am going to play it. On to another store. This is the Salvation Army retail store once again. So because right you're off the bat, I found a copy of uh, Hitman Blood Money for nice. the PC. Probably the best in the series, if you ask me. Also, several console that I would games in the glass thing. case. There's I ended up getting the Pop sure. Cap Hits Volume 1, as well as Prince of Persia The Sands of Time, both for the PS2. And here's a shelf in the store that I don't recall being there, and I'm glad I saw it because holy crap! Friggin' Print Artist. This is the print program made by Maxis to compete with things like Printmaster and Print Shop. Yeah, who knew the publishers of SimCity and other things like that also had a print program back in the day? Well, I did, and I've been looking for a copy. Over in the electronics, has. I found something like slightly interesting. This is a VCR with a top-loading cassette deck. And for and extra nostalgia, it actually had a blockbuster tape inside. These machines are notoriously unreliable, but I just like that mechanism anyway. Hmm, here's an interesting-looking container. Just I wonder what's inside. Underwear? Oh. Yeah, it appears to be uh, used men's underwear. You're not. Just being in such close don't... proximity to this, I feel dirty. It's time to get clean. Get everything clean. Get my car clean. Get my eyes clean. Clean. Next up is another Goodwill. It's getting stormy outside. 
Hmm, a little teapot, some oh gnomes. And, oh, what did they do what to that the cat? That? Ah, poor thing. <laughs> oh, hey, I could use one of these. This is a little spinny CD tower thing. I was needing some more places to store my CDs because I keep finding a bunch of PS1 games and I don't got anywhere to stick them. Glass case had some interesting stuff. Uh, underneath this compound bow, there was a copy of Wolfenstein The New Order for the PS3. I already have it on PC, but holy nuts, is that a good game. Checking out puzzles and board games, and mm, yes, more PC stuff. This is F-16 Multi-Role Fighter, PC a Nova Logic Flight Sim Every thing. Single time. I'll take it. Also found a copy of Star Trek Deep Space Nine Harbinger. Totally would have gotten this. I've been wanting to play this game, but it does not come with the awesome box packaging plastic thing that looks like a giant Star Trek communicator. Seriously, look it up. That I am not getting the like game without that. <laughs> Another thing that caught my eye, but is just something I didn't really have a need for, is this Davidson's Learning Center series, Math. This is actually when Davidson bought out and started reselling the Jumpstart games under a different name. Approximately three people are going to care about that, but that's alright. We'll see if anyone cares about this. Haha, <laughs> Animaniacs Valentines. I don't. Featuring Pinky and the Brain. I was never this a was fan tempting, of this but show. I got no Valentines to mail Valentines to. Sigh. Ask her romance, I got electronics. Check this thing out. This is a Kodak Extralight 10 camera. Uh, this is a pretty neat little thing. I've always liked the designs of these. I've actually got an older one that is very similar, but I mean, just look at this little canister and all this stuff. This what thing's just beta. cool. And what as I was about to leave the man. store, I happened across another Kodak camera. This is a disposable one. Normally I wouldn't care, but I noticed that there were only a few <laughs> photos left on the roll of film. Oh, so shit. I tested the thing out and <laughs> took a random picture of junk on the shelf and got an idea what's on this freaking camera. Yes. So I went to the nearest place that still develops film and got them all developed. Seriously, this turned out to be really, really interesting to me. It's like the life of a thrift store camera exposed. If you want to take a look at the digital versions <laughs> of these pictures, take a look just in the video description. Just put a random camera in the store the and then whoever buys it And that is all for the haul gets, uh, of LGR Thrifts episode post. 11. Ended up with 15 games, one guaranteed future collectible Star Trek ink pen, one Maxis print program that nobody cares about but me, one plastic spinning CD tower, and one set of developed pictures from a random disposable camera at Goodwill. Came to a total of about fifty-one dollars, and I swear yeah, I've seen him buy wheel a pretty fun little haul, times. I gotta say, especially for those pictures. Low end game. Thank if you. I ever run across another camera with a bunch of pictures already Thank taken you. like that, I am so Thank doing you. this again because that was just a lot of fun. Not only seeing what the pictures were on there, but also just trying to find somewhere that still developed film. The first place I went to, the lady literally laughed at me when I asked if I could get it developed there. And they had a sign that said they developed film, but she said apparently they haven't done it in years. But like I said, peruse those pictures down below in the video description at your leisure. And hey, why not enjoy some of these viewer finds as well? Y'all are still sending me <laughs> lots and done. lots of pictures over Twitter and Facebook and Patreon and email the worst and wherever thing happened, else. All, right. all your thrift store finds are just as inspiring as the ones not that the I put thing. out there. I At least I that. think so. So it's keep an, sending them my way. It's not, it's, but it's not hanging up. Like I never found a place and for it. Encourage a few and then it kind of like just slipped my mind for a couple years. Because, you know, most of the time you'll find nothing. That's just a given, I think. Other times you'll find a whole bunch of awesome stuff. And maybe just things that are purely yeah. odd. There's places Either that way, for you me, can send film out is too, more so sure. about the journey and the memories associated with a lot of this stuff, as opposed to actually just I'm acquiring a piece things. Of shit. Yes, finding new games that you've never played that, that you want to check out but is I awesome think as well. I have an but idea you find for something it. obscure that I only you care about, like a print program by like Maxis or some sort of pictures that nobody's ever seen because they were just on a thrift store shelf and a camera that hadn't been developed, then is when you run across something special. And if you enjoyed this long little long. foray into thrifting, why not check out some of my other videos? I have done quite a few more. And the next two episodes of Thrifts are already recorded and ready to be edited, ready so they're going to, to be go. coming in the next no, month or so. So why not subscribe if uh, you like this mom. or are interested in I some of these it. games that you see me buying being covered in the future? I make more videos I every week, so... I have to pee right now. All right? I have to pee. Well, okay. I'll be right so, back. my question is is it generally better to like if you want to ask a woman out to sort of develop some sort of um experience or not experience kind of get to know them first before you ask them out or is it like kind of okay or acceptable to just 
ask them straight up. Yes. Next question is from <laughs> Bryce Reed. I'm going to keep trackers. driving. Keep driving. Keep Fuck driving. Well, I can't. It's a red light, all right? Hey, man, I'm telling you, I can get that automatic weapon. I'll blast that thing in a couple of seconds. Don't leave me, all right? I'm not going to leave you, all right? Where are you going? Hey, what's the, what's the problem, pal? Al? Go, go, go! <laughs> Very good, Mort. Love it, love it. I love where your head's at. Yeah. See if you see this on a Skip Gently stream. Motherfucker. Motherfucking Skip. You won't, you won't see this. Never mind. More? Every now and then I fall apart. Every now and then I get hundred percent normal. Hundred mm. percent normal should be fine. <laughs> There's something wrong. There's something wrong. <laughs> There's really something wrong here. I just started an extra level of the switch. All right, all right. Ships, Go to Swim. We're back. <laughs> Brother Lynch, please stop it. Hmm. I think I need more games to snark. Become loves my yeah, Let's fuck. go thrifting. I don't believe it. First up is a Goodwill made of bricks. Inside, I headed straight to the media section and found this Nickelodeon Team Rocket Rescue game for the PS1, though I already own it, so never mind. And over in the DVDs, I happened to find a copy of The Elder Scrolls Morrowind for the Xbox. One of my favorite RPGs buy that? ever, and I've never is played this, the same this video? version. Not much in the LPs, just some fantastic oh. hair. Checking out the board games, because I always do, and I found Those a game with quite- what are we doing? Sorry. Greetings and welcome to LGR Thrifts. I've got nothing else to say, and I obviously need to fill that other stack over there. So let's oh, go yeah. thrifting. Um, we actually. Oh man, it is one stormy, dreary day out. Was but whatever. Quite a bit. Inside of Goodwill. It's actually pretty dreary too, and that's because this particular location especially has been really just putting all cute. the games they get into these one big lots yeah. for these auctions, and the auctions are always just here. ridiculously overpriced, and I don't ever even bother with them as a result, and that sucks. There's some cool stuff in here. Ah, well, well the charity it. gets their money, no, whatever, and you still crackers. find some cool stuff those out my crackers. Don't board look games at sometimes. Don't look like at my this crackers. here, the Battle of yeah. Baden Pass. Apparently a collectible card game for Legend of the Five Rings. I know nothing about this, but the box looks pretty cool. Over in the electronics, there's nothing, just nothing here. Ah, Can you still kind of crappy on. outside, but whatever, I'm on trying, to I'm another trying goodwill. To, I'm trying to work here. Hopefully we'll have a little better move luck your, here and uh, some squiggly metal things. Those, those look promising and oh, look at that mess of cables. Move That's great. Butt. Yeah, I play like a girl, jealous. 
Oh, and what an inspiring couch. Look Come at on. this thing bask in its glory. The Come magnificence of the its hideousness. Oh, my. And only $19. Oh, what is this? A deluxe two-speed vibrator well, massager. Look at uh, look at that doesn't disgusting look comfortable. Uh, and in fact, it You're looks like... You're an embarrassment, like, uh, Steve. You're an you know what? I'm just going to gonna leave this right there. The electronics section at this Goodwill is, is, is impressively bare. I got to say, usually this one's pretty packed. I did happen to find a PS2 <laughs> Slim over here for $25. Oh Not a bad price at all. And I just got one recently at another Goodwill, or else I would have definitely gotten this one, even though the, the cable that it comes with is actually an RF cable for a PS2, please? not like composite or component. That's interesting. Ooh, what is this unusual thing? Ah, it's Fort James, bitch! Yes, a paper towel dispenser. Oh, I've always you know, I've always one. wanted one of these just to I stick knew he was in my say uh, it. kitchen. Next to the bathroom scales and disposable underwear, found one of these home design things. This is actually from Sam's Club, so this is double nostalgic for me. I always used to like looking at these. I, I just wanted to design houses on a computer, and I would always go to Sam's Club and see these, like, dual things together. You'd get bargains on software. Ah, whatever. Over in the media, found a couple things of, uh, the Naked Brothers Band. Why, why are they naked? What kind of brotherhood is this? Oh dear, I'm putting these back. The next Tetris, which I already have, so whatever, but hey, Kart Precision Racing, developed by Terminal Reality back in the day for Microsoft. I'm picking this up for sure. Ah, oh, a copy of Left 4 Dead 2 for the Xbox 360. Ah, nope, it's Madden 12, never mind. On to another Goodwill, and finally, the skies are clearing up. So, time to go inside and peruse their media, and uh, I ran across a copy of Star Wars Episode 3 that... <laughs> what in the world, man? I guess somebody got hungry, because that is pretty raggedy. However, there was a nice copy of Ben 10 Alien Force over here. I don't really know much about this, but it actually Bro. looks like it could be kind of fun. Come on. A couple bass fishing games for the PS1. <laughs> I skipped on real fishing because it's the greatest hits version and These are whatever. My I don't know anything about it, but I got action bass. These are my crunchy. Frick, I don't know. Fishing games. A copy of 3D Ultra Mini Golf over here for the PC. Very cool game, but I already own it. A couple more PS1 games scattered amongst the music CDs, ATV, Quad, Power Racing, and another friggin' bass game. I don't know, I'm not gonna get that. Uh, Missile Command, I already have that one. Uh, let's see, Crash Bandicoot 2. Heck yeah, awesome game, I already own it. And one more down here, Jet Moto 2. Ah yes, I only had the first one, I'm gonna take that for sure. And moto some jets when I get home. Underneath some cash-in board games, I found a copy of Windows 98 Upgrade Ooh. Edition. Unfortunately, it was not only incomplete and in crappy shape, but they were charging way too much for it. Fifteen dollars? I want it, but I'm not going to get it in this shape for that price. Fifteen dollars? And now it's time for the construction update at my favorite Goodwill. And hey, it looks like they're making some progress in the parking lot, and they've uh, laid down Who some new sidewalks like and walkways. Inside here, though, yeah, it's pretty much the same as last time. He has like all some the games. Some more NES like games storage, and other cool stuff, but in the auction case, dang it. Checking games. out my lucky media rack over here, and uh, well, here we go. Some more good stuff. Simpsons Road Rage for the original Very Xbox. Very low bar in what terms of good. Awesome. And Virtua Fighter 4 for the PS2. Also ran across 4x4 Evo 2 for the Xbox. Like buying, Never played this one. I only ever played the first one on the PC back in the day, but I got a big kick out of it. Very open-ended. And their other media section's been moved, and well, there's a couple of things You know these Goodwill employees know this guy, too. HD DVDs. Man, you remember these? These were going to be the future. The electronics are filled with about what I'd expect. Mostly crappy HD cassette decks DVDs and VCRs. But should have been the ran Blu-ray. Across these pro hey, those are the ones that I have. Which can be used with, like, flight simulators and other stuff on PC. That's interesting. It the doesn't look like it's ever been opened. I've already got a set, or I would have grabbed them, but, you know, that's just, just an unusual Another find. Another CH. Speaking of CH unusual, look at this friggin' joystick. <laughs> what is wrong with it? Oh, the shape is oh just... Oh my god, ugh. I forgot about the suction cups <laughs> no, on everything. put it away. Give me some Mavis Beacon instead. Mavis Beacon teaches Typing 5. In fact, Mavis I think I had Beacon. this exact one back Who? in the day. This would be fun to cover someday, but right now I don't know what to do with it except sticking it in between there? some lamps. Oh, uh, hey, look at this. One of those QB photo things from like the 60s or so would hold uh, Kodak Instamatic photos. Uh, my mom used to have one of these, and uh, subsequently I remember playing with it. 
on to another Goodwill that I almost never go to because this area stinks. Like seriously, it's in Canton, North Carolina, and look it up, there's a paper mill right nearby that's just disgusting. But anyway, inside the store is pretty nice. It's a Goodwill and it doesn't smell like garbage. Not much in the CDs though, just a copy of Max Payne 1, that's cool, I already have it boxed, and some flight sims that don't have the correct discs in there. Let's waltz on over to the junk section and see what kind of junk they have on offer. Oh my! This is some impressive junk. What the heck is it? What the hell is wrong with people? Oh, I'm pretty sure I saw a creature like this what in the Dead fuck Space. What is that supposed That's to be? That's not right, man. What is that? That is just not right. Ed. Why? Oh, what is a pretty that? good deal on no, a no, pretty no, no. nice Acer no, no. monitor on, back here. That was... Where is my mouse? You're right, Ed. A creature like this in Dead Space. Why heck is, is like, it? <laughs> why is it like ribbed like that? What? You know what it really is? I don't, I can't see how it could be, but I don't know how it could be seen <laughs> oh, as anything else. Who made that? I'm, no, I've thought that has been sure repainted. I saw a creature like I, this no, in dead that's... space. That's not right, man. <laughs> that is just not right at all. A pretty good deal on a pretty nice Acer monitor back here. It he didn't make the connection. It, so I passed. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, there's a it's really a cool old dog. Zenith TV. <laughs> Look at this little guy. It's cool. I would want one, except that I don't really have any use for it. See, at, this is what I something I space, would but it think looks he cool. would buy. Much like this old I would probably record buy player it. down here. Man, now this is old school you ugliness slash classiness at its best. <gasps> oh, look at this. It's a 4D internet scroll mouse. What is that? I don't know, but apparently it's so cool Steven. it does four dimensions instead of just three. Okay, whatever you say, uh, I don't He's care. Obsessed. He's oh man, more 60s you. weirdness. Look at these electric scissors. Oh, oh, these terrify me. <laughs> I wouldn't trust these for anything, nor would I trust the club. Remember when these things were all the rage? Like seriously, what the heck was with that? Anyway, it's on to one more Goodwill, and this is a little out of the way, but it's worth it for the view. Check this place out. Down on street level, though, eh, it's just another Goodwill. Nothing particularly special. Inside, it looks like a Goodwill. It uh, feels like a Goodwill, because it is indeed a Salvation Army. No, it's a Goodwill. Checking out some CDs over here up front, and uh, oh, man. Oh, please don't fart on me, kind sir. Just please don't. Uh, Oh, it's making me nervous. Okay, I can't do it. I'm moving on to the other CD section, and uh, the other's not much I over here break. either. Uh, I did run across Why this, do though. This work? is a Fisher Price Time to Play well, because, Pet Shop uh... game for the PC. I mean, <laughs> okay, sure, why yeah, not? I'm not I'll entirely get it. sure. I also ran across a copy of that Jurassic Park like 3 Danger Zone. Never heard of this, that but it looks like kind of different, and I'm sure that Kenny Loggins would approve. I also had quite a few 8-tracks laying around, too. It's definitely not my thing. I don't collect them, but, you know, there's something still kind of appealing in their He's incredible obsolescence. Them. Over in the jumbles of cables and remote controls, I found this over here. This is a Q-Cat. This is a handheld Oh my god, scanner. I remember Actually, I those. I to cover this on Oddware at some point, so I didn't grab it. I already like have one. It's like a barcode scanner. As I was about to leave, I just happened to see these bins full of complete junk, and then this, oh a god. Sim Classics Maxis Collection Volume 1. I really, really like this collection. I already have it, or I would have gotten it, because this is a great shape example of it, and yeah, it comes with some awesome games. Hopefully someone else will pick this up, because it was kind of sad to leave it there. And since I was on a different highway than normal going home, oh, I no. decided to stop by Toys R Us. Normally I don't, but there's a reason for that, and that is this insane clearance sale that they had going on. Stuff ranging from 70 about. to 90 percent off. Just a little bit of everything, Not so you life, never know what you'll find in here. Like these arcade like, juniors ever known here for that the iPod to check touches out. and stuff, as well as the iCade for the iPad. Normally it would have been $65, you can get it for like $24. <laughs> I don't have any iOS devices, so I passed on these, but still yeah. cool to see them so cheap. That's weird. Lots of video games, though, and man, also very, this very cheap. Video. A lot of Wii U games in here, so I uh, ended up seeing so and grabbing 14. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, as well as 007 Legends. I don't know anything $60. about this one, but hey, why not? It's super cheap. Also, Epic Are they? Mickey oh, 2, not that The okay. Power of Two. There were also some PS Vita games on offer, like Luminous, Electronic Symphony, 
I don't have a Vita yet, but again, just so cheap. Why not? I'll grab it. And lastly, there was some PS3 game We're that I never uh, heard of. LGR Apparently, it's for the Coolidge. move called Medieval Moves Brits. Deadman's Quest. Yeah, I don't know. I've got a PS Move. Maybe I'll try it out sometime. And that is it for episode 12 of LGR Thrifts. 14 games across seven platforms for a total of $43. I don't know when he would play these. Not a bad price at all if I do say so myself, and I do say so myself because I just said it. Pretty standard haul of stuff this time. But when's he gonna sit down and play Fisher Price Pet Shop? What what are we doing? I'm around, nothing exactly blowing me away or out of the ordinary, but you know, it's just some cool deals on some games that I have both been wanting to play and have never heard of, and I look forward to trying out. So that's always fun. And yeah, that Toys R Us deal was just awesome. I saw a bunch of people getting some like really, really cool titles for super cheap. They were mostly cleared out at my location, so there wasn't a whole lot on offer. I still glad I made the trip, because hey, Wii U games, why not? Don't tell me. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more LGR Thrifts episodes, then feel free to... How did I get here? Must have been thrifting too much. Or not thrifting enough. Let's go thrifting. Hey, a Goodwill. I've never been there before. I should go inside. And as soon as I do, it does not disappoint. What is this? That's awful. That's one pretty unique telephone lamp calculator clock sculpture thing. What in the world? Quite a few LCD monitors in here I today. I think I might much do else this, in the electronics, I might though. do this. And over in the media sections, pretty much the same I had kind an of idea. stuff as always. Oh, this joint operations game. What is this? Why I may never play Battlefield 1942 again. Ah, uh, so true. I guess that's why we all play joint operations now, and that obscure Rindy. Battlefield game is just dead. Ah, uh, here's one of these TV arcade game things. These are kind of cool. It didn't have any of the I stuff remember that those. hooks into the TV, though. So even though it was Miss Pac-Man, those from like I didn't ten years ago. It. And next to the candles and lampshades on the shelf behind me, I happen to see this little basket of goodies. Yeah, some Sega Genesis games in here. You got some Sonic some Spinball, uh, Rampart, Rampart. Definitely grabbing that. A couple copies definitely of the Lion King. Never heard of it, but and a box yeah, copy get of freaking Road Rash too. Okay, that as I would well probably as grab. Even though I don't have a Genesis. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll get it. And NCAA football. I don't really care. A lot of Road Rash memories. And you memories. know, whenever I smell one old game, I gotta start looking around to see if there's any others scattered through here. Ooh, and that Genesis well, what do you is know? Cheap, there were a couple more but never on a owned shelf. A Genesis. Desert Strike didn't have this one. Very cool. And also, friggin' Shaq Fu! I know oh. some of y'all were annoyed I didn't get it at a store uh, many episodes ago, but well, now here it is. Don't listen For to those people, man. You don't have to. Next up oh. is another Goodwill because I'm these, feeling lucky these now. These assholes in the Let's comments. Let's see what's in here. Past oh, all man, of the you ugly clothes. Oh man, you should have bought Shaq Fu. Always got to take a look at if the board Shaq games Fu, and buy it. puzzles don't tell just to him see if there's anything it. cool PC related in here. But nothing today. I did, however, find a large purple Lego brick that actually opens up into some kind of storage unit. Kind of cool, I guess. I didn't get it. I don't know cool. what you could put in that. Uh, hey, it's Some one of these kind old of school, like, permanent you know. machines. Ah, I remember being kind of freaked out by these as a kid. Like, you know, women just stuck their head up in there, and then when they came out, they looked all poofy. I think it's just ah, a, isn't that a just box a blow of Fujifilm three and a half inch floppy disks. I'll take those. Always useful. Thrift There's a dog. decent pair of binoculars now. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, it was a decent pair. Right, decent Is pair it, of binoculars now. Oh, crap. I'll I take those. I think my those. grandma Always had those. Useful. There's a decent pair of binoculars, of binoculars now. Oh, crap! <laughs> well, it was a decent pair. Right next to some other plug-in TV game systems, a Gravis gamepad for the PC that still in the joystick. packaging. Uh, this you is not the original it. packaging for, like, the DOS version of it, but it'll still work one. on all sorts of PCs. And, yeah, whatever. It's just cool to have. <sighs> just because I didn't feel like leaving it'll work on it? all sorts of Did you see it? The 3G microcell. Oh, my God. That brings back horrific memories. PCs, and yeah, whatever. It's just cool to have. And just because I didn't feel like leaving yet and was slightly intrigued Classic by AT&T. books about plastics and 
cooking pasta. They were two hundred dollars. This the more were two hundred dollars to buy. It's a three G microcell from AT and T. Where you, you, it's basically uh, having your cell phone go through your Wi Fi, except going through. It's like a mini cell phone tower in your house. Nowadays, you can just connect to the Wi Fi, which always made sense to me. I don't know why. Game of the Year edition. That. This is the strategy guide for more. It's like a mini cell phone tower in your house that only you can connect to because you have to put your phone number into the system on the computer. It's interesting. Also, a couple things over in the toys I section. Work, yeah, yeah. yeah, I totally remember these little guys. Oh, yeah, I had the, one as a kid. The little I had chatter one too. telephone deal. You would spin the and thing the here. And anytime you move the wheels, one, the though. eyes would Maybe flop up and it's down like that. Yeah, Fisher Price childhood nostalgia. I'm glad I looked over here too. I actually found some game cases for Game Boy games. Yeah. Sure, why not? I'll why take not? some of these. Yeah. I got some loose games. I'm sure you do. Not too fine to the colors, but I'll I've got get loose over games it. somewhere there in another a box. Goodwill. I wonder if there's anything inside here. Stow it away. Nope. Well, that was a bunch of bad luck. And there's a game stop. Is there like, a, is there like a random frame of an old lady? Did you see that? What's that all about? What's the story with her? Looking at that little table thing. Okay, I regret this. <laughs> this was not, this was, I thought I, maybe he put something in there, but it's just. Well, that was a bunch of bad luck. Nothing. And there's a GameStop next door, so I may as well check it out. You know, I typically just don't like going into GameStop at all. <laughs> but as a collector, it just annoys me. Stickers all over friggin' everything. They're hard to get off. Sometimes they're stuck like on the actual artwork itself underneath the plastic. It's just uh, overpriced. Blah. So why am I here? Well, the clearance bins. Sometimes you find some really cool stuff in here for basically nothing at all. In fact, less than Goodwill like this here, Knight's Journey of Dreams, $1.79. I've never played this and for that price, I don't even care if it sucks. I also suck. found a copy of Brink and Why Monster Madness care? Grave Danger for the PS3. I'm I think up here. these Thank are pretty you. mediocre I'll games, for next but, time. you know, whatever. Again, I don't care. They're so cheap. And also a copy of Ninja Blade for the 360. I don't really know much about this one either, but it's from From Software, so that has me intrigued. It's just a shame that there's so many games that I would be interested in here that actually are a good price, but don't have like the manuals or any kind of artwork at all. It's just a real pain. On to the Salvation Army to see if there's any kind of salvation here. And well, right outside, check this wooden beauty out. It's one of these large <laughs> console these radio things. home stereo things from a long time ago. I think these things are friggin' sweet. I love the wooden design in them. I love like the eight track player and radio and there's little microphones that are in here and you got a 45 record player and stuff. And this thing's only $5.99. If I had the space for it, I would so get one. Inside the media case over here, eh, not really any games I'm interested in, just sports stuff and things I've picked through in the past. I did find this over in the books sections, the Babylon 5 component game system. I don't know, it what caught my hell? eye and I'm sure somebody thinks it's cool. And then there's something that I just think is insanely cool as a PC gamer, Roller Coaster Tycoon the board game. I had no idea there was a board game. This is awesome. Unfortunately, it was in really bad shape and it looked like there was some stuff missing inside or I would have gotten it because this is something I'd love to do a video on. Over in the electronics too, I found a couple of speakers that appear to be for a Packard Bell system from the mid 90s. Yeah, the monitors back then would have these speakers that would snap onto the side. If I had one of the monitors, I'd have totally gotten the speakers. And now it is on to my favorite Goodwill to check on the construction. And it looks like they're still working on the parking lot over there, but they've planted a tree. And now there's like actual sidewalks that you can go up on instead of dirt and wood. Inside though, pretty much the same story. It's still like plastic and sectioned off and all that stuff. What is taking over to the them music so CDs long? And some stuff caught my eye immediately. Twisted Metal 3 for the PS1. Can you believe I actually don't own any of the Twisted Metals? Well, I what? do now. And since it was taped up on the other side, I had to open it this way to see if the disc was in there, and it was. I also found a copy of Siphon Filter in here, which I already had, so I left metals. it. 
On the other side of the CD tower, there was a Lego Creator set over here. I definitely would have gotten this had it not been 15 bucks. That's not a terrible price, but I also don't know if everything is in there. Yeah, no. Over in another media tower, I ran across Lego Star Wars The Video Game. For the PC, I only had the console versions. And behind some games I already had for the PS2, I happened to run across Medal of Honor Frontline. And it's cheap, so I'll get it. Man, the oddities on display at Goodwill today, well, there's no shortage of them in any way. Look at these animals coming out to play. You can shoot them all in the heart, and that's okay. Ah, uh, hey, look, Raiden hats. I'm sure they're called something else, Best but way to have a clean <laughs> whatever. Kill. Uh, Raiden has one, so most that of means it's cool, right? Animal. Not cool enough for me to buy, but whatever. Aw, oh, yeah, look at this! This is a Tweetsie Railroad frickin' lunchbox. I loved my trips to Tweetsie Railroad as a kid. Ah, oh, this place was just so cool. It was I don't like know a dream-like thing going there. And this lunchbox just reminds me of pestering my parents at the gift There's shop no way he the plays place. all these. Oh, I don't know what really his cool. intentions are. And in the electronics, I, I want to believe he buys them and sells them on eBay for a profit. That's pretty standard stuff in here today. And no, I'm not checking out lamps. I'm checking out board games and puzzles because I'm not looking for those either. I'm looking for PC games. And while I did not find any of those, I did happen to find this fighting stick by mm -hmm. Hori for the PlayStation 2. This is the Tekken 5 stick. 12 bucks is not a bad price for one of these, but I already have a stick that I like better. And I just don't like the buttons on these things. I prefer concave buttons that click a little bit more than these do. And that is all for the Hall of LGR Thrift Can't episode mad at him 13. For that. 12 games, one gamepad, one box of blank three and a half inch floppies, you one set of Game Boy no, cartridge cases, right and one strategy house. guide, all for about $40 total. Chair. While this was not my luckiest find, uh, being episode 13, it was definitely not my unluckiest either. This is some pretty decent stuff in here. I'm mostly happy with the Gravis gamepad, the Morrowind Prophecies, Twisted Metal 3, and Shaq Fu. The rest of the stuff is just kind of cool to have. Yeah, kind of a shorter episode this time around. There's really not a whole lot of action at the thrift stores around me. I don't at understand how nice for the Wii is cool Because it's to have. summer and like friggin' everybody is out there thrifting in my area, especially. Honestly, I was surprised Twisted those Genesis one games was didn't like get taken. The one I, mean, they I were just played. Sitting I, out there. I, 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 I didn't saw have a other PlayStation, so at my, them before my cousin had I it. even got to them, and they did nothing. They're like, eh, whatever, Shaq. He buys a floppy disk all the Man, time. I've been feeling sick all course friggin' he did. week. But who cares? Not anymore. Let's go thrifting. Chill out. I'm not feeling terribly adventurous today, so we're just gonna hit up a few Goodwills. Checking out the glass case near the front first off, and yeah, pretty much just the typical random assortment well, of new has, games left over from Target. He has so much old hardware where <laughs> he could actually right use floppy disks. right next to the case, you have this disc. right here, which lets you know that you are I don't know what he would actually shopping use at a Goodwill for. in North like, Carolina. There's just yes, no this is one of Tony it. Stewart's tires. Certified by Joe Gibbs Racing Yeah, a modern NASCAR. twisted metal would be awesome. Ooh, learning to speak five modern Such a good languages. Franchise. Well, oh, modern when was the last in the one they uh, made? late 50s, it appears. Although I guess they haven't changed too much, but yeah, not exactly what I'm looking for today. Ah, this is more my style, brats, rock angels. Like uh, this. Of course, there was no disc inside. Uh, what okay. a loss. He would have bought now, Here's it. something that actually strikes my fancy. He always this is the Cirque Glide Point stuff. Portable. Perhaps a future bit of oddware here. I also this is don't basically understand. a touchpad for your desktop. Speaking of different, here's a piece of CAD software. It's Drafix Quick CAD. These things always intrigue me, but for seven bucks, it's a bit much. Of course, something that I just can't pass up for seven dollars is Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is version 5.0 for useless. DOS. Really just cool. I actually useless. did not have this version. Also found Need for Speed Most Wanted for the PSP, but of course, the disc is not inside. Jerks! Oh, hey, he's got a possible he's like, mission He's got glasses Wii? that record all this. I had no this. idea they remade this pretty game. pretty cool. Thankfully, this was taped up, so the disc was inside, <laughs> and that's cool. Him. I definitely grabbed this because I just want to try it out. I like the original. I also found Sonic Colors for the Nintendo DS. For $5, yeah, whatever. I'll take a chance on it, and the box is really cool. I like that sort of uh, hollow foil Sonic thing Colors? going on. Ooh, an Atari 2600. But he won't Looks buy to this. to be in pretty decent shape. And $29, it at least does come with the video cable. No power cable, though. Ah, whatever. I've already got a ton of these, but it's still cool to see them, them in the wild. 
Speaking of in the wild, you know, this wild well, thing, not Google Glass, this they're... right here, I don't know, they just, I don't... <laughs> besides looking rather hideous, oh. is a Hewlett Packard space ball. This is made for, well, CAD programs as well as other 3D design stuff. This lets you manipulate things in 3D space, supposedly more easily. It's just too odd not to pick up. Ooh, yeah, Tiger Electronics game. Here is Ninja Gaiden. Only a dollar. Awesome price. Don't. Totally would have gotten it, but the screen looks completely ruined. It's all mashed up, and there's some like weird stuff going on with the liquid crystal. So uh, I hated these when sucks. I was a kid. And oh, I hate hey, them what's now. this box up here? And of course, over in the women's accessories, I found all of these Saints Row 4 Wub Wub Special Edition what? Collector's Edition items. 30 bucks for them though, that's just way too friggin' much, but yeah, it's always amusing when you find all this stuff at Goodwill. And look at all these things for uh, Dead Island Riptide as well. Oh, and then down here, <laughs> oh, oh, poor Duke. Yeah, these are the Duke Nukem Forever busts that came with the Balls of Steel edition of the game. Oh, uh, what happened? Sorry, Duke, that's what you get when Gearbox releases a subpar game about you and nobody buys the special editions. This Duke Nukem's okay. Over in the random junk section, I found some random junk as well Dead as Island this right here. This is a game. mouse pad from Ducks Unlimited that also comes with Duck Hunter Pro. Okay, well that's just weird enough that I've got to get it, especially for $2. This game is apparently by Head Games. Yep, the same people that did Extreme Paint Brawl and Extreme Boards and Blades. Oh man, are these... Are these shake weights? Uh, yep. Oh yeah, that's definitely what they are. Now I feel dirty. How do they ever sell these things? <laughs> uh, anyway, I think after that I need to go to the Salvation Army store. And right inside, uh, oh, there's a lioness just chilling over here on the couch. Nice lion. Back in the puzzles and board games, though, I happen to run across something that's for the PC. This right here is Interplay Game Fest. Yes, it comes with Starfleet Academy, Chekhov's Lost Force, Visions, Star Trek New Worlds, For six Starfleet bucks. Academy, Strategic Command, and just Starfleet this Command. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, this I don't is really propaganda. skip on shovelware compilations this like this, but yeah, Star Trek, man, at my you'd face. have to use the Force to resist this. Over in the books, I happen to run across an animated storybook. I do like some of these, but the only ones that I really collect are the ones that I remember playing as a youngster. And oh, poo, this is not one of them. Over in the generic CDs, I found some generic PS1 games. Oh my like, god, it's the wrong direction that drives me pass. crazy. Anyway, this is Qbert. Oh, cool. This is a game I didn't have. May as well get it. Also happened to run across Extreme Pinball for the PS1, which is no, no, no. awesome. I didn't don't have it for your, this system. Do not this go, go to your Goodwill and send me anything. Pinball, one of my favorites. Oh, I've got hey, enough Top junk Gun here. Jets on VHS. Oh, man, this looks like one of those things I would have borrowed Too from much. the library years ago and just like watched and thought it was so cool. Because being a little boy in America. Oh, here's a box that I just cannot resist. This is full of travel adapters from oh, yeah. it's like the past 30 Very years. Hard to resist this I don't one. know why, but I find these kind of collections just fascinating. I seriously spent like 10 minutes looking at every one of these what in detail. It was awesome. Over in what the electronics, happened to find uh, ComShare 350 telephone line sharing device. Talk about one of the most boring things ever. I and also something that is so this. woefully obsolete now that it is completely useless. Kind of love it. Over in the keyboards, though, I did find something of interest, and uh, that is underneath know. these I, others I, I've, here. I've not this seen is an the Apple ADB extended keyboard. These are quite well-known keyboards for 90s Apple users, yeah, and I already I have quite a that. few of them or I would have gotten it, but it did get me looking around for other Apple How things just have quite in a case few. somebody dropped off some stuff, and they you did. Would need a, like, a whole, I found a like, case over here full of three and a half inch Apple this. floppy disks. All of it looking to be for software for Power Max, the 6100, 7100, and 8100 series, and System 7.5. I already have all of this stuff, and plus all of it I think is for free to download through Apple nowadays. So yeah, I had no need for any of it, but it was still cool. You don't normally see loose floppies. And lastly, moving on to my favorite Goodwill, and hey, the construction is pretty much complete. They're just finishing up the parking lot over here. Discs. Ooh, and look, they've added automatic doors. It's like the future. And yep, the section over here is just about finished off. They're oh really God. just adding some flooring and fixtures, and it will be ready to use. I anticipate the next episode <sighs> we'll be walking through here. All things considered, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> Except for the other area? side of the store over here where they've completely started ripping it up instead. 
Looks like they're building some sort of that's training saying, center Pat or Efren. something that's what for I'm, employees that's what over I'm, that's here. My whole argument. This is where the clothing used to it's be. So I'm assuming propaganda. that other section is going to be full of clothing now. Anyway, over in the rest of the store, uh, let's take a look at the auction case because there's always some interesting stuff that I'll never have. Wait, there's, like there's some pretty katanas. sweet air rifles and samurai swords. There's no katanas at, at the Goodwill I and went to. And a bunch there's of no video games. Ah, oh, man, some cool Atari, no Atari 2600 stuff and even cooler NES stuff over here. I mean, it has a lot of games, but oh, those poor boxes. Ew, well, this isn't creepy at all. This is a seriously old school baby carriage no. thing. I, I don't even know. There's got to be My a proper Google term Google for this because sucks. this is fully involved. It's got like hoods or, or bonnets or I don't even know what sucked. you call it. And those giant they didn't even wheels have any and electronics there. wire there everything and it's all set for horror movies. Oh look, an actual piggy bank. Ah oh, man, you know, I've always wanted to buy one of these just so I could put money in it and then smash it with a hammer. <laughs> like that's the only reason I want one. Is that wrong? Speaking of wrong, Oh dear, wrong. this is a classic wildlife collection, but I don't what? remember seeing any classic wildlife that looks like a Cerberus. That's quite the striking statue, I gotta say. It's kind of cool. Perusing the electronics, and that's nah, mostly junk today. Well, except for this down here. This is an old yeah, GE2 TV. I just love the look of these kinds of TVs. And you know, if I had more space, I would so collect them. I, I just like old TVs like this. I love the switches. I love the tubes themselves and the hum and like the heat and ah, oh, it's just really cool. On the Everything, opposite end of the technology of spectrum, the we have the, a freaking Sony Blu-ray player. This is a BDP S300. Like Crazy the that these the things TV. are already showing up at Goodwill. This is actually the second one that I have seen recently for like under thirty or forty dollars. Like I would find and that just looking nostalgic. around the pots and nostalgic. pans and crappy coffee makers and but I don't well, need it. I don't know. I it's why like this was here, the but there was a PS One controller, like the actual PS One. I, I really like the style of these. Childhood. They have a cool connector on the end, and the R two and L two buttons are nicely the rest shaped. Of your life. Over in the puzzles and board games, and I saw quite a puzzling thing. Ah, yeah, Printmaster Gold. Bonus pack. I have actually been banner. looking for Printmaster Gold, a very uh, specific uh, yeah. version for a long yeah. time now, so I always check these out. And unfortunately, this is not a that version. version. What I'm looking for the is, well, I mean, I'll know it when I see it, but it's the one I had as a kid. He doesn't one know it. One of these it. days, it'll be mine. Until then, hey, why not get this? I Survive like, the like Millennium Bug. Everything? Protect you your PC while there's still time in the year 2000. Like, oh, Y2K. To it was such stuff? a big deal. No, it wasn't. It, it was a big deal for no friggin' reason, basically. Need to dive this is my this. kind of thing, man. Heading towards the front again, and on an end cap over here, look at this. Ah, oh, Windows 98. Second edition is the upgrade, and yeah, you know, I passed on one of these a couple episodes ago. This one is like the opposite of that. It's in fantastic shape. Uh, and underneath that, it had SimCity 2000 Special Edition, my favorite version of one of my favorite games ever. And yes, I already own like 10 of these things, so I don't need another one, but it's just really cool to see such a nice condition copy just out in Goodwill like this. Over in the games, there's a pretty cool little find for someone, not me. This is Super Mario 64. I already own it or I would have gotten it, especially because it's only $3. I think this is the cheapest version of this game that I have ever seen, at least in a For store now. like this. <laughs> Checking out the music CDs, cause why not, and well, <laughs> I'm glad I did. This is Daggerfall, but not just normal Daggerfall, this is the interactive preview disc. Basically a demo that they sold or distributed with magazines and stuff like that. Really, really cool to find this as a lover of Daggerfall. And one other thing caught my eye here, and that is Guy Spy and the Crystals of Armageddon, a DOS cartoon adventure game that's very similar to Dragon's Lair, from to get what this. I understand. Never played it, but hey, maybe I will now. And that is all for episode 14 it. of Thrifts. We got nine games, one of them with a mouse pad, two software packages, one PS1 controller, one goofy looking space ball thing, and one trackpad for desktop computers, all for about $41 total. Uh -oh. This is a fun haul. I didn't go too many places and got some cool stuff anyway. Definitely came across some interesting things in the store as well. Some of these items I may them. never actually use. Like seriously, the space ball? I don't know, I'll probably do an oddware video on it or something if I can get the software for it, but yeah. Definitely some games and gaming devices that I will be playing with in of here for sure. Uh, he, uh, and I'll be yeah, really curious to visit that Goodwill fest. store next time and see How the you hopefully not? complete construction. 
Well, that's it for this video, though, and I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, then right. you might want to Star check Trek out games. some of my other thrifting videos. There are 13 more prior to this, and probably going to be a lot more in the future, so stay tuned for... There you go. He always, I feel like he always buys, if it's complete, he'll buy... He writes it all off on his taxes. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Maybe that's it. Yeah. Windows 98 greater than Windows 11? Well, we don't know. I think we should give it a chance. Something new. It's exciting. I think that's what happened to us, too. It's like he starts stressing you out. You're like, no, dude, you don't need that. Don't get that. Stop playing Toon Strike tonight. It was a meme, all right? I'm probably gonna uninstall it. I don't have, I don't have space for that. We're never playing that. Come on. Yeah. I need a much more comfortable bed of video games. Wait, he does have that thing that you looked thrifting. at. A gun thing. Move your head. I'm trying to look around his head. What the hell's wrong with me? Time to stop by the Goodwill with the freaky disco looking lights out front. And it looks like I picked the right place to go to because just walking inside and over to the CDs and stuff, I happened to run across a little bit of PC All right, I won't gold, uninstall it, okay? Or at least a little bit of copper and maybe some silver in here. Freedom Force versus the Third Reich. Definitely going to be grabbing this one. Uh, Ghost Master. Codename Panzers <clears throat> Phase 1. I spy spooky I was thinking about doing deluxe. like a... Gangsters, the small box re-release. Dark Horizon. Dungeon Siege. I bought a, a few uh, games on GOG the other day. Fields of Thunder, and I'm wondering if we, we should like take a night. Some G.I. Joe DVD you don't this care is just about. me. Praetorian. This is just me Alexander, talking here, okay? Don't hold Silent me to anything. Storm, but doing like a like a go through a, like a retro pack, game night. Monster Madness, I got like suburbia, just Sacred Plus, another yeah. one I'm certainly going to get. And Total Annihilation Kingdoms in the Because I got box, Ultima 7, awesome game, Horrible no Idea, I know, I got anyway. Ultima 7, also, I, found I got, out he has one like, King's Quest, heard of called Black do Dawn. something, I know, right? In pretty good shape other than the jewel case, which I will replace. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? I saw a PC paintbrush designer for Windows. I didn't pick it up or anything, but I don't know, I'm just attracted to these somehow. Maybe just the game night no, in like general, I guess would be a well, good start. Electronics, I saw this solid state tape recorder by Lafayette. Which game quest? Uh, five cool. and Although six? Although I don't have any use for it at all, and it was kind of broken, but you know, I like tape recorders, and the ones with these little mini reels are pretty neat. Also ran across five one of these, one. Yeah, I played five. Is, uh, seen in just about every slightly religious home I've ever that. been in. Or That's, at least some version of it. It's this beautiful. Is the footprints poem on a block of wood that looks like a Bible with a clock on it. it smelled like cigarettes, dust, and staunch it's, it's conservatism. Wonderful. It's pretty wonderful. Ah, frick, it's raining. Whatever, another goodwill. And just inside, I found a Lego Chima set Chima. here. Although apparently it was missing two sets of Lego pieces. They were still charging 60 bucks. So what? Nope. There's also Risk <laughs> Battlefield Road. You fuckers. Interesting. 60 I like bucks. I kind of like that. Not even a complete set. You know, get out of here. No, no, I'm not going to get this. But it was kind of cool, I guess. Over in the glass case, there were a few games in here that looked halfway interesting, so I ended up grabbing a few of them. All for the PS1. Car and Driver yeah, presents yeah, Grand Tour Racing, a good will. Luka Championship Racing, and VR Golf 97. Ooh, these are games. Oh, hey, Rubik's Cube Challenge. I've actually got a copy of this, but every time I see it, it just catches my eye, not just because of the cool like artwork on the box, but because of the fact that it's like a Rubik's Cube How could game he possibly computer, own that game? Know. How, no, Godzilla how is that Omega possible? Godzilla. Did he own every Battle game ever century. made? Oh, man, I remember that happened. It was all over the Within news. Within the last 30 years? Died. I don't understand. <laughs> this is tempting. Grey's Anatomy, the video game, it just looks awful. Right, <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm going to pass I don't know if I believe else cover it. this. Dang, that's a lot of Duck Dynasty stuff. Already being sold for a pittance. That's not a good sign. Here's something you don't see every day. An HP Jet Direct card for your printer. Yeah, it's like an expansion card for a printer. Not something you exactly think of when you think of printers, but yeah. What? I don't know, this stuff is just so mundane that it intrigues the crap out of me. Speaking of intriguing, here's an LXI series, the Hi-Fi. I don't oh, know if it's any nice. good Look or not, that. but nice. I like Hi-Fis. And I like pressing the buttons on them. 
switching the flips and flipping switches How and all that. How much though is that? Over in the junk section was some junk, including this light up fish light that was probably some poor kid's nightmares. Lovely melody, an thank you very, very much for the seven phobia months. Going on and, Hello. Yep, now it's just here in Goodwill, looking creepy. Over in the puzzles and board games, always looking for PC stuff and big boxes. And well, here you go. Here's one. Why does a Rubik's Cube computer game, game exist? With an introduction by Pete Dunn. In the no, first place. This and, and, and he already and owns I it. I actually can't wait to play it. <laughs> I didn't pick this up, but it caught my eye for this amazing artwork. I'm Flash lose match. This. I'm gonna lose it. VCR game. A rapid fire memory challenge. See, this Maybe is interesting. I should have picked this up. I he wouldn't mind get doing it. a video on VCR games at some point. Oh, hey, a bottle of Pepsi from ugh, 1974. Yeah, I think I'll leave this here. I'd buy that. For a Clemson fan who really wants I'd, to throw I'd buy up. that. And as I was walking around the corner a here, dollar. I just happened to notice a, I wouldn't a PS2 spend more than a dollar. game hanging around in this bin of crap. This is this Way of the Samurai. Rights. What do you know? It's complete. Stumbled around and also found the Crouching you know? Tiger Hidden Dragon for the PS2. I found DuckTales 2 for the NES in a pile of underwear and socks before, so don't be afraid to get dirty. Speaking of dirty, check this keyboard out. Yeah, this is a Fujitsu a AT little, uh, style keyboard, similar to a Model M, but without any of the clickiness going on. And honestly, if it was clicky, I probably would have gotten it. But as it is, it's just, I bought a is little just amazingly radio. yellowed so much that it's orange now. That's pretty impressive. Ah, it doesn't look like much like a over dollar. here. So, oh, wait, no what reason. is that? A, a glass what? I just what? wanted a little radio. A, oh. oh, glass clock. I uh, didn't read the L. Does and a work? moment we've all been yeah. waiting for. Yeah, it it's works. a visit to my favorite Goodwill and the expansion. I never to the used it, and I don't need it for complete. anything. So then I realize yeah, I'm like, we can't this. go you to can these walk stores. Inside and you too can see often. the place that's because all we have put problems. together and stuff for the most part. Like 99% of it's I done. There's only like one shelf it. that doesn't have a thing put on it yet. But yeah, everything else Hold is on. all here. Man, what a crazy journey it's been. What a However many episodes of showing the construction place. of this place, and yep, this new area is full of clothing, just as I suspected it would be, but that's cool. That just means the rest of the store is full of non-clothes. Oh, I can touch the brick wall. I can't, like, not touch it. It's here. It's in front of me. I got to. Over in the new board games section, there is a section of board games that are just kind of okay. Not much of interest except for this right here. Are you afraid of the dark? The game. I didn't even know there was a game, but that's a uh, fact or an elaborate hoax on my part for this episode. Ooh, which is it? This is a thing too. Oh, Mist. A puzzling new board game adventure. It's great fun for Mist fans and for people who don't own computers too. That's what it says right on a box. Apparently they took the idea of puzzle game to its literal meaning, like you put together jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> Uh, yeah, here's the uh, rest of the store. It's full of junk, ironing boards, tiki torches, teddy bears that are too big for their own good, and foosball tables that are too small for their own good. <laughs> Actually, this thing's pretty cool. I wouldn't mind having one of these. Doesn't have any balls, though. Over in the computers, found a computer game! Battle Chess, the Enhanced CD-ROM Edition. I uh, did not have this. I like this game. It's a cool game. Also found another couple of big box PC games here. This is the award winners collection. I already have all these games, so I didn't get it. And I also had Civilization 2 in a big box over here, which is really cool. But yeah, the interesting thing about these two is that these are European <laughs> editions of the game. In fact, now. I also found the Baldur's Gate 4-in-1 box set over here. And yeah, you can see the, the Peggy rating right there. I don't know where all these came from. I mean, obviously Europe, but... I guess some European just dropped off a bunch of games it's fun. Here. I'm sure it's fun. Oh, and here's that Encarta 97 encyclopedia that was uh, in an episode or two ago, and everybody was like, hey, you should have gotten it. Well, yeah. I would have got that if it was 94. Or else I would have. And even if I didn't, it, it, uh, this is what I bought. This is pretty beat up and bent. It was 399. So, yeah. It was 399. That's why I didn't get it. It's not that I, and hate I was like, Encarta. This looks I like cool. Encarta. It's got but I've already got it. Watch hey, this. Rise of the Triad. This is the Hunt Begins Deluxe Edition. And Pretty cool. You get stands. some exclusive levels and stuff it's like that. It's got a radio? A little stack of Nintendo GameCube games in here, which is, of course, always interesting, but there were, of course, no discs and, uh, inside any of them, so, ah, screw that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, look at this. It's all swank over here on this new Doesn't wall. really work. Though. Behind there is like an employee area, but yeah, in front of it is the new electronics and appliances something stuff. Doesn't, got this cool lighting and whatever. It doesn't going turn on. on. Down below, though, is of interest. 
Check out this beast. I Freaking also got 32 this. 32 inch Sony Trinitron. Flat screen CRT. Gorgeous. I would pause. I'm pause this real quick, okay? Also got this. It's it's risk. Look at that. Where the hell am I looking here? Slides open. This was five bucks. <laughs> Had to get that and uh I found this. Uh Nick at Night's classic TV trivia game. I, I kinda I don't know who I'm gonna play this with, but uh thought I'd be good at it. That looks like a that's and <laughs> And <clears throat> saving the best for last, of course, uh, Wee Moon. Uh, saw this and uh, had to purchase this. It's a uh, it's a calculator, and she was planning on walking around at work with this. You need this. It's so stupid. It's like bigger than a tablet. It's bigger than a tablet. Does it work? Yeah, of course. Look at that. What's the number? Um, it's never mind. All right. Leah? Yeah. You thought it was going to be a Star Trek thing? No. Now it's just a gigantic calculator. Thank you, Brains Wax. It's thank you. See, would so love to you have can't one go of these, these places. Got no space. The title on this box caught my eye: Electric Dog Control. Unfortunately, this does not let you remote control dogs. Well, at least not exactly. Not the way I was hoping for. This is a friggin' shock collar. Yeesh! First time I've run across one of these. Not the first time I've run across one of these, though, and these always catch my eye, especially in a cool paint scheme. A royal typewriter in orange, yes, please, except not because I don't collect them. And hey, here's Thank an God. Ultratech System 100 communicator. If you don't know what this is, well, it's basically like a modem that you can use for telecommunication for the hearing impaired and such. It's like a oh TTY. God. You can kind of like do text messages through old phone systems. It's pretty neat, actually. That is neat. Speaking of neat, glass case had some neatness in it. Mainly all of these Game Boy games, like complete in the box, all like four bucks each. So yeah, I ended up grabbing our type, which was loose. Mr. Chin's Gourmet Paradise. <laughs> Play action football. Mr. Boomer's Chin's Adventure Gourmet and ASMR Paradise. World of Paradise. Play One of my football. favorites. Loose. Mr. Chin's Gourmet. Oh my God. Uh, that doesn't. Uh, that's that's gonna be. That's a collector's right there. You're not gonna find that. Gourmet Paradise. Play action football. He didn't know football. at the time. Boomer's he didn't know what that game was. ASMR World or whatever. Dry Fighter Deluxe. Atomic Punk. Dexterity, the huge market for alleyway, that one. Navy Seals. Oh my god, I remember alleyway. Cosmo Tank, and Bill and Ted's excellent Game Boy Adventure. Nah, I would know not to buy and that one. And on to one final goodwill here. A couple curious items in the auction case here. This is a Tip Kick board game. These are actually pretty cool. If you should look one of those up, see what it looks like. And <laughs> a friggin' Zune in pink. From what I recall, they totally overtook the iPod in sales. <laughs> oh, and there's no bids on it at all at five dollars. What do you surprising. mean? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, like... got my attention here. A couple of NES cartridges over in the electronics shelf. Metal, Metal Gear. Gear, as well as yeah. Dragon Warrior. Hey, pretty awesome little finds here, You're especially like for classic. five bucks. It's not bad, but I already own both of them, so I'll just leave them. Probably for sell Dragon Warrior for a pretty to... penny on cool. eBay. The rest of the electronics are as soon as electrical, like Microsoft's so uh, iPod competitor when it first came out. I find out. one of these translucent telephones. <laughs> Even I had one of these. These things were all the rage in like, I don't know, 1998 and back. And 
and uh, an old joystick here, he which one, was but kind he doesn't of interesting. Want that there were some other interesting things, but unfortunately, so my camera about that. is completely screwing up, and after this, it friggin' died. I've used this joystick. So that's I don't that. remember where. <laughs> that sucks. And that is all had that for one. episode 15 of LGR Thrifts, and indeed, the final episode of this season. I don't remember what the hell we 23 played. 23 but... games covering a variety of systems, all for a total of about $84. There was like an Austrian game, Which Osprey for having all these Game, game Boy games in the boxes, the manuals, and the inserts, and everything else, that's a pretty awesome deal, if you ask me. We... And yes, indeed, the rumors are true. What rumors, ago. you ask? Well, there are no rumors, but if there were rumors, then that would be that LGR Thrifts is done. Well, it's not done, but it is just for now. I am going to be taking a break from the show for a while, because See, at the moment, it's knows. actually a blizzard outside, and I just feel like doing some other things with the channel, and, you know, 15 episodes seemed like a nice the little number outside. to end the season on, and we'll start up at some other point in the future. What's his recent one? Like the thrifts one? Let's see. Forty-six. Forty-eight. With one of their This is the last one. This is this was March twenty-sixth, twenty twenty-one. Siegfried and Roy full show magic and mystery 46 minutes. What? No. No, I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. No, we're not. No. It's getting oh late. my goodness, are we actually going thrifting again? Yes. In fact, I've never stopped. It's just, it's been cut down dramatically over the past year Four or so due no. to ongoing circumstances as they are. Uh, but yeah, even when I have gone, not very frequently, but whenever I go, it's just not the same. You know, there's not really the same uh, amount or quality of just interesting things to show on any kind of episode of Thrifts. So I just haven't acquired as much footage as quickly. And yeah, that's why it's taken however many months it has to get another real thrifting episode out. But uh, here we are. I have accumulated enough footage and... <laughs> Put it all together for your viewing pleasure. So, let's go thrifting. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a nice day out and it's nice to be back at a Goodwill again. And as soon as I got inside, I'm greeted by a slightly different sight than the usual. A bunch of electronics sailed. near the front of the store instead Over. of the back including a whole bunch of neat little monitors, but what drew my eye even more was this 1950s looking Magnavox stereo system with a turntable made in England, apparently. Check out that old logo, that old design, just everything about this. That paint job with the tan and black and kind of champagne gold, oh yeah. And up above that, with all those monitors, there were a bunch of 4x3 aspect ratio ones that caught my attention, but the main one they did was this NEC Multi-Sync 1540M. Nice little 15-inch deals, got built-in speakers, missing some components around back, which was kind of unfortunate, but you know, a nice monitor for someone in need of that aspect ratio. And hey, just around the corner from that but was, was no shortage of old records, including a whole box full of 33 and a third vinyl on top and a whole bunch of 12-inch and 10-inch records down below that that are much more substantial, shellac type of things. Yeah, whole lot of RCA Victor stuff. An intriguing collection, although mostly covered in mold, and you can smell FX it. Voodoo Just down from there, the media, a couple things caught my eye immediately. Oh namely, Microsoft Encarta 1994 that. edition on one CD-ROM. It's I a would little buy bit older right than I normally see in terms of Encarta releases. I don't and hey, know this is why. an AST OEM version, so I, packed in with an, one of their I Advantage have such computers. A nostalgic probably. connection. Oh, and of course, we got a Zumbini's game down there too. Zumbini's Island Odyssey. Mm hmm. Nothing I'm needing, and neither was this, but it was just darned pleasant to see. We've got a couple of big box games, or bigger boxes, but the first one, a CD-ROM Classics it's edition like of that. Wing mm -hmm. Commander Privateer, and their slimmer, very cost-reduced box, and below that, the ever-present Mist. Pretty much guarantee you'll see one of these at every single Goodwill no, period, you but won't. you don't you always won't. see it in the box. That's not true. So, uh, you know what? Whatever. I haven't it's been to thrift stores in a long time, so this was kind of exciting just to see a big box PC game in a while again. 
And even more exciting than that, seeing a boxed application in the wild. Oh, now this is increasingly my thing as the years go on. I don't know what's wrong with me, but whatever, man. Printmaster Gold for Windows in the box aware. with the stuff aware and the discs. Yes, right please. I did not have a version of Printmaster this old, and I'm rather fond of these print programs. I don't know. I just like them all. Print so this one no. I'm grabbing, putting no, it no. on my shelf. Mmm, got milk, or at least a bunch of milk, what are these, jugs, cans, whatever you call them. Those classic, almost antique cans. Looking like they've been out in the elements for a while. But hey, if that's aluminum, I'm sure that's, uh, yeah, material. And then over by a shelf near the front of the store was an intriguing selection of older books. What mostly from the doing? early 20th century, some late 19th century, but all marked $5, which is way more than books normally go for at Goodwill. I guess because they thought they were old, they could mark them up, but there's like an antique yeah, shop yeah. just down the road uh, that sells like Braveheart a whole on group two. of old books, this old or older, for five bucks for like ten of them, so. What else? Yeah, he's been there what for like six months two? now. Wasn't Ooh, that many. Hey, yeah, check out this Rolodex. All metal except for the parts that aren't, which kind of felt like Bakelite. But yeah, that classic Rolodex logo and a clunky sound of moving this thing around, 1960s kind of thing. Just a little older than most I come across. And then up above the Takes balls, back. we got a little guy here. What is this? That's <laughs> a little awful. spark plug with a party hat? Uh, he's awful. skiing. Uh, Sparky, do that... or die? Is that okay. insulation? Sparky, you do you. You can tell he's got a real spring in his step. Oh, hey, look at this. We got some lighter hued wood grain down here and turntable from Zenith. Yeah, just a lot of mid-century goodies have been running across lately at these Goodwills. Look at this cool turntable. Those knobs and all the components painted white in the middle there. I don't know. Just got a design that really appeals. Never get that Ooh, Also appealing in a different way is this JVC down here, a KDA 55 stereo cassette deck. Fantastic looking VU meters. The red has faded into a yellowish gold, but I've always dug this JVC aesthetic. I do like and meters. the fact that the tape deck is on the right instead of the I, left I, I is, yeah, why. it's, it's kind of it. a thing. I, I enjoy it. There's a nice metal tape inside, too, which that's pretty cool on its own. You don't see those terribly often in the wild. It's kind of weird. Yeah, overall, an impressive little like deck. Like, if I could just have meters just everywhere, that, I was that'd intrigued be pretty by this cool. little carrying case. Thought it might be binoculars be okay or something, but nope. Check this out. It's just a little thing made for holding realistic speakers from Radio Shack, <laughs> from their Minimus line of speakers. I don't know, I just like the case that they came in. Yeah. And that was that. I see Oki Data, yeah, classic dot matrix printer down here, a Microline 192. One of their personal printers. Yeah, it was it made to be, like to be a little bit smaller, not take needle. up as much space on a desk. Not as impressive as some other LCD dot matrices, but it is what it is, and I like seeing these. Still had a ribbon in there too. Probably dry, but whatever. I'm not gonna hold that against it. Okie doke, okie data. Up above that's on Apple logo on a box that got my attention. And it turns out it's one of their airport extremes. One of the fifth generation ones from, eh, I don't know, nine or 10 years ago or something. Didn't check to see if it was in there, but uh, the box was darn heavy. So I just didn't care enough to check. Okay. And I cared a little bit more about this right here. We got a Sony Mavica. Aw, oh, heck yeah, Vika. I really enjoy these floppy disk cameras. This is one of their FD71 models. I'm not needing any more of them, but I always enjoy seeing them make an appearance. They're just fun little cameras, and they provide yeah, that's a, an intriguing the aesthetic to your photos. Side. And down below that, check this little thing out. We got a 13-inch CRT down here, a JVC Master Command. Yeah, really like the way this looked. My grandpa $2 had that in color his room. TV. Built in December of 1990, and it's only got RF input. Yeah, so I'm not going to grab it. I just don't need any more RF little TVs of this size. But dang it, I like the way it looks. So close. Hope somebody gives it a good home. Huh, well, this is a, a tad unusual for a Goodwill find. We got an EVGA PC ATX power supply down here. 500 watts for $20. Just tossed in with the rest $20? of the electrical crap Why over you here. just buy like it's not $5 modular worth or of really gas anything special, but worth pointing dump out it all over your house. All right, yeah, we got to check this out. See that Slim Cam logo instead. on the bag down there. It's not what a waste of your here? time with that power supply. Slim Cam. It was indeed a Slim camera. A VHS one with Zoom Sorry. 8, Cat's Eye 2 Lux, artificial intelligence <laughs> system. Like, yeah, I don't know, man. How is that not just strange? That seemed pretty cool for what it is. I just like the fact that it's slim, considering it's full-sized VHS in there. 
And then I also noticed this little guy. Look at this. We got a Micronta alarm clock with a classy little bit of wood grain going on. And uh, you know, this blue display, I just had to check it out. It looked neat. So I plugged it in and what do you know? It's neat. I, I don't really need it, but I just, again, I like looking at it. So I looked at it and then I put it back. If I'm gonna buy an alarm clock, it's gotta be a little more special than that. Though that display is pretty darn cool. All right, on to this Goodwill down this way. And yeah, they have finished the Panera Bread construction over there and it is finally open. I don't think inside, I don't know, maybe it is. The drive-through definitely is. Anyway, Goodwill, that's why we're here. And immediately up front, I see this box for a GE Deluxe Automatic Record Changer, but inside is not that. Instead, we've got some components for There's another Magnavox sure. turntable, sure, mid-century type of thing. Micromatic. The, the, the clock in, in Groundhog like Day was not an but LED. Yeah, LCD. That was all that was in here. It was kind not, of underwhelming, not even a flips. complete thing. Now, this case clock. logic cassette case, on the other hand, this is a little more you of just I mean? more. Look at all these. Got some Def Leppard, ZZ Top, Cheap Trick, Bon Jovi, Neil Diamond, Beaches. <laughs> Someone's me. 80s tape collection ended major, up here all at once. A major plot point in the and then movie. down in the case the, the below that, looked like something that had never been opened or used. A SEMA Copy Kit 3, Home Theater Copy Center? I didn't take it out of the case, but I was mighty intrigued by what I was seeing on the box itself. Yeah, the Turns out this is kind of like a, a home telecine kit where you take a video camera, point it at this little lens area, and then whatever is projecting through the front of the copy kit is transferred to your videotape. That's actually pretty cool. I'd never seen one of these before, what and now I have. About? Let me know if you've ever used one of these. I'm curious how well it works. And I gotta say, I thrifting during a pandemic has been weird, but you're reminded of how weird it has been every so often with things like this. Four rolls of toilet paper for a one dollar, which I mean, there was like a shortage. So, you know, what is same this? goes for hand sanitizer. They had tons of these bottles at this store and many of the other stores oh, in the yeah. area. Alcohol antiseptic, 80 percent topical solution, random, just yeah, kind of generic bottles with a label slapped on there. Sure looking thing, shady. Yeah, hey, whatever. Yeah, People needed this stuff and it was here at Goodwill. All right, over Maybe. in the furniture. Look at this. This is not a pool table, even though that's what the tag said. This is water. I mean, I guess it was technically yeah, kind of sort of correct. This is a bumper water. pool table. It's a lot smaller than regular billiards. But yeah, I, I, this might be the first one of these I've seen at Goodwill. So that alone made it worth Paul's looking in at office. for a second. And now we're not going to look at it. We're going to look at this Wurlitzer over <laughs> here because, man, look at this. The phenomenal retroness of it. All those colorful keys, the keypad. Yes. It's even got a built-in compact cassette recorder. Ugh. Yeah, that's just awesome. It's no wonder somebody already bought it. Oh, this thing was neat. Yeah, don't uh, touch I just, it. I just it's already purchased. It smelled like mildew Please. and cigarettes. Now, these two boxes over here certainly got my attention because uh, there were two of them. And inside were a bunch of unused six and a half ounce wine glasses marked California YR Convention 1980, I think is what it said. I don't know why it cracks me up, but it does. But yeah, there's two boxes of them. Anyway, take a look at this BASF. A rather enjoyably colorful floppy disc holder for five and a quarter inch diskettes. BASF branded goodness. Yeah, I've got one pretty darn similar to this. I don't need it, but uh, you know what? Floppy holders, yeah, it was like they're Scott's. fun. It was... Even more fun with color. Ooh, hey, here we go. We Extra got CD dry. players as old as I am. 1986 Sony CDP 45. Much like myself, the design is aged. Look at all the squares and, and the rectangles. Fair, it's, it's it is more buttons. of a tech ah, channel. So. I just like the way this looks. Always have. Up and over from there yeah, was another tape deck that I approve of. Not this one being a Toshiba, hands. which is a brand I just don't see very often in terms of cassette decks. Sure. I don't in know. fact, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't can't know think of any others I've ever seen thrifting. I don't You're know. Right. Regardless, it was a pretty sweet there. looking deck. I like their design language. And the model number, PCG50R. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, I found this little thing down here pretty intriguing as well. This is a Radio Shack Amplified Video Selector. It's just a bunch of RF connectors on the back to go to different equipment. But what intrigued me was all the remote control-like functions in a box. Like the fact that you could not only switch to a different device to see, but also things like cable, auxiliary, VCR, antenna, that kind of thing in a box instead of a handheld remote. And down below the clocks that were no doubt sold at Brendel's in 1990, 
we had something that was a little more my style. Check this out. A music star multimedia music system. That's his style. He doesn't play PC keyboard, though. With a sound card. Yeah, just a little MIDI keyboard for Imagine the my PC. Face. Or really when I anything. Found that out. The only thing that made this quote unquote for the PC was the fact that it has an interface to plug into your sound card, the game port, as well as some software. I have another one by Reveal that I plan to cover at some point. So I didn't grab this, but it he was exciting one. to see he owns a thrift store shelf already. like this. And I also absolutely love this picture on the back. <laughs> that Packard Bell setup looks so much like my computer I had back then. Ah, Why yeah. Is it? Why is it so tiny? Look how small that monitor is. Look how big her head is. It's the same size. Oh my god. Let's see, down below that we got a box of 8-track tapes just <sighs> loosely thrown in there. A format that I'd still kind of like to mess around with at some point, especially with the recorders. In fact, you'll see a blank one that has been recorded onto in here. Uh, but yeah, uh, just, you know, nothing I was needing in here, or wanting, rather. Whatever, 8-track, it's a thing, always has my attention. My and checking out the CDs, because of course you gotta do it. This stood out immediately, this little Palm desktop software package. I looked around the store to make sure that the PDA itself wasn't around somewhere. That would be fun to get, but nope, just the software. Nothing special, apparently it was to a 3XE handheld. Year 2000, mm-hmm. All right, Please. more electronics. It's like always more electronics. It doesn't matter. What the heck is this? A black and white and colored line amplifier. It just you know, looked that way. Exactly I'm sure her head isn't this really the size of a I'm gigantic it monitor. Lines, okay. You know, color and black and white variety. It's a per with, aspect uh, ratio. It was something uh, with the lens on the camera. It was just really weird. S video. Not the connections I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, anyway, the model number is HLA819MD. If you're interested, looking it up. Ooh, and check this out, up above that, this kind of reminded me of the Techniques M1 that Tecmon covered at one point. It's not that Jesus. though, this is a Sony Transound CFS 3000 If it was thin, quarter, I would probably buy it. Or at least it. part of it. The speakers aren't here, so oh, it it's just this detachable little system in the this. middle, Why but I, I kind of really like the way that it looks without the speakers. <laughs> Why do they even speakers? buy it? Why don't you plug in headphones, the carry this around. That's my idea of a good time. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Look at all this. Big old beefy Panasonic wooden thing. Has a solid wood cabinet. Ah, oh, and inside. Of course. Yeah, solid state radio turntable. Uh, I know. It's really got cool kind of unit. The propaganda. Of. I've, I've, and down from there was another Panasonic thing. A little bit newer. Also a turntable with a radio, but it had this intriguing dial area. It looks like it would be something if it lit up, but it's not lit up, so it's not much to look at here. But anyway, there's a thing. I like things. All right, one more Goodwill, because it's here, and I am too. No, I don't and think he's... And inside, hey, look he at this, they're selling toilet paper afterwards. as well, but at least theirs is wrapped up, and not just like... I like to imagine that he's in the store talking, the though. Uh, over on the other side of the counter, I immediately noticed the little stack Makes the videos a little better. Here. Really, the standout one was Zoo Tycoon 2 Endangered Species, but still, even in the smaller boxes physical PC games at Goodwill, it's an increasingly not as common Top sight, USA. which is just weird. Let's take a second to Ugh. admire this whole retro office setup kind of thing on this desk here. We got the Rolodex, we got <laughs> the wedge, yeah, a little solar powered calculator and a pen holder and a thing for like paper clips and whatnot just stuck in a block of wood. And then next to the leathery briefcase thing over here is this typewriter. The Graduate is what it's called. <laughs> Mrs. Sears, you're trying to seduce me. It almost worked. Half space. All right, what is this? BBC music. <laughs> like that BBC? Yeah, I doubt it. It's probably just from some church, probably like Bible Baptist Church. There's like a billion of those. And they're all titled BBC around here. But anyway, I was just drawn to the spray paint stencil. Nice touch. Also drawn to these little Franklin computers, like always. Even though I have a couple of them, they're completely oh underwhelming. Doesn't matter. Little computery retro things in your hand with an LCD. This is the word master. Moon tried dictionary. to buy a, a three hole features. punch. It is what it is. And then behind that, just got to give props to the fellow's floppy disk holder. As a fellow that holds and a I'm lot like, of floppy disks, the last himself, time you needed to put something in a binder. Across from there, in the random junk section, was like, a bunch of random junk doing? randomly, and this junk randomly stood out. It was a ceramic I Apple can't. server pack, yeah, still last sealed time I had for a who knows how long. Know. The thing that really kind of caught me fan. off guard was the fact that there were still yeah, cider mix in anymore. there. No, we don't. Was just, we don't. Who knows how old? We don't even print. It just amuses me. It's like me a hassle to get something printed out. Get re-gifted forever or just end up in a closet it for decades like until it ends up in a good 
I don't know uh, what's going on. Check out these on. appliance boxes at Emerson Microwave on top. I admire how simple it is. Literally a switch between cook and defrost and you get a timer. That's it. And then down below that, I thought it was another microwave with some awesome Jesus rainbows Christ. going on. But nope, this is something called a Harvest Maid. Really, it's just a dehydrator with a timer. Fantastic graphics. My God. <laughs> I don't know. It's old enough that it's weirdly appealing and kind of not. And then finally, just browsing through some final electronics, noticed this Gateway 2000 desktop out, keyboard. Frame by frame not really old enough for anything I would want, but hey, at least it's beige. Honestly, though, it's what was it, above like that that brought room. me over to this wall in the first place. Check it out. Didn't know what I was looking at at first, but yeah, it's a little alarm clock lamp oh, by no. Spartus. Look away, be present. There's something about it that just immediately was like screaming clock out to me it. to bring it home. First, I had to see if it worked. I like the red LEDs and the wood grain, but if it doesn't work, uh, but no, turns out it does work. The oh. bulb works, the clock display works, everything works. It's a little worn down after however many decades, but aren't we all? I'm taking it home. And that is it for this episode of LGR Thrifts. <laughs> you know, I only got two things over the last, what, eight months, 10, I don't know how long it's been. It's been a while. But that's fine. It's been a daggum journey getting here, and I don't just mean going to thrift stores. I mean not going to thrift stores. You know, just like everything else going on in the world. And whatever, I got a cool looking little lamp clock. I love this thing. I've been using it all the time. It's oddly enjoyable to just turn on and use and bring into areas that I'm working on smaller electronics. Man, does it have a smell. <laughs> There's something about the way that it heats up with that little incandescent bulb in there and the metal and the dust and everything else. It gets warm and it has a, I don't know, it roasts in a certain old way that's extremely nostalgic. Reminds me of a million things from childhood that just burned. <laughs> uh, whatever, man. LGR thrifts. Uh, this is, like this has been a thing. Hair and and here's a bunch of your things that y'all have sent in Confused in terms of your own com. thrifting finds what over the past that? amount of time. Thank you, as always, for supporting the show and just showing general interest and constantly asking, like, when Keyboard a new Thrifts episode is going to come out. I wish I could do more. I'm, I'm going to try to do more. You know, as things start to clear up and get somewhat more normal. Oh, my God, those Zen 64 boxes. Knock on wood grain. We'll see, right? But right. Uh, for now, this has been an episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you very much yeah, for watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that before. A calculator. Oh, look at that, a POS machine. Well, he popped in to say howdy and I've been here for a couple hours. I do enjoy it. Well, thank you. I enjoy it too. All right. I, I think I'm going to call it there though. I am uh, starving even after the crackers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but, um, you know, take it for uh, what it will, what we will, um, we're planning on streaming something tomorrow. Um, yeah. There, are, yeah, self explain. We have self already confirmed. We're good to go. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Have a good night. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I hope you had fun. The, yes, the twitch.tv slash Selvik is going to be on hand according to uh, today's Selvik. You know how it goes. All right. And it's not a knock on him. I'm just, I, that, was, that was rude. I didn't mean it like that. I meant just like, that's what I was told. I'm leaving. Good night, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>